The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Ah, uh, yes. Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah. We meet at last. Well, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I, I missed you. Um, glad you're back. And then also, oh, it's just for this week. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know if you can tell. Derek and I refuse to do a show together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to make the true. live show a bitch. <laughs> it sure is. One of you didn't have to do it from the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a Zoom call, right? right. Uh, but anyways, we have another excellent stand-up comedian. Uh, he took uh, he was a runner-up in uh, 2021 to Derek uh, yep. for Funniest Person in Wichita, Mr. Eric Von Riker. Yes, of course. Happy to be back. Yeah, man. Happy to, happy to have you back on the show. It's been a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this is a, a comedy podcast. If this is the first time you've ever listened to it, where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, majority of them are targeted towards me and that's fine with me <laughs> uh but also this is an adult podcast uh where we like to use foul language and make loud noises so if that's not your thing in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thank you and bye oh we had a a fun-filled week uh we've got a lot of uh, current events and sports to go over we've got uh the would you do it for 10k segment again uh this week and we have uh jeremy back and uh so that means we're gonna have some bad advice uh, I'll give some. Yeah, we can give some. Yeah, real shit, horse shit, overrated or underrated, questions and preguntas, and as always, a draft and shitty situation. But like we always start off with every single show, we're going to do our week, week recap. We talk about what happened to us, us over the past week. And Von Riker, you can just tell us what you've been up to uh, since the last time you've been on. And you get to start. Oh, since the last time I've been on, um, yeah. I had a baby. Yeah, you did. Yeah, got a six-week-old little infant at home. Yeah. Uh, she's cute. She, we uh, put her Packers onesie on her, and then the Packers immediately lost. So I think I'm gonna burn it. Yeah. Uh, what kennel baby, did you onesie. get her from? <laughs> yeah. The kennel. Yeah. <laughs> right. The one my wife grows a kennel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. She's only she's only got the one <laughs> oh, the one pup in there so sure. far, but you know we'll eventually figure out how to get more. Sure. Sure. <laughs> get, get some uh, some what do they call them? Uh, I don't know. Why am I? I don't know. What do they call it when a whole bunch of puppies? Litter. A litter. litter, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. A murder. Get a, get a, a big, murder of babies. A, a murder of murder <laughs> babies. Because <laughs> <That's what, I laughs> like you put them all in a big circle and only the strong survive. That's exactly. right. Yeah. They just yeah. beat the shit out of each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like eagles. They always have two, <laughs> but only one gets to live. Really? Which, I didn't know that. Surprisingly yeah. sharp feet, mm-hmm. too. Wow. I I did not know that. Only the stronger one gets to eat. Baby nails can cut diamonds. That's one thing I have found. And she keeps, Mm -hmm. like, growing these little, like, hang nails. Uh Uh-huh. But from the center of her fingers, pointing directly out while she wants to, like, grab at her face. So Mm. it's just like, she's going to blind herself. I've got good insurance, (laughs) thankfully. I'm trying to think if there's anything in the world more nerve-wracking than clipping a baby's fingernails. Oh, Oh, shit. We haven't had two yet, but we've bought one of those little grinders. that you. Oh, did you? It's like... (laughs) Like a, same, dre- like a Dremel tool? Off. Yeah, we're yeah. going to oh, we nice. make those for we dogs. We got the welding goggles and everything. <laughs> nice. We just like sweet sparks and stuff fly out. She gets a great tan. It's yeah, good. sure. That's awesome. She's got a full head of hair. That'll probably get burned off. Yeah. You know, we'll, shoot, uh, we'll shoot. It'll grow back. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. It'll be fine. Eventually it won't, but right. for now. Yeah, uh, but uh, what about uh, anything else? Obviously, baby's kind of important, but... Um, of course. Um, yeah, you know. 
uh, the paternity leave was fun. Yeah, um, sure. I, I've been diving pretty deep into the the current the now finally legal sports gambling. Fuck yeah, in Kansas. It's mm-hmm. been nice. Oh yeah. Um, Did you do the DraftKings? Uh, no, FanDuel. FanDuel. I'm, I'm a McAfee fan. Not, oh. to, not to speak of the competition on this show. <laughs> That's but, uh, okay. No, no. <laughs> Neither one's a sponsor, so you have to blur all that out. That's okay. right. Yeah. Uh, McAfee wants to come on our show, though. No, it really? doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Hell no. <laughs> McAfee's never heard of our show. Yeah. <laughs> and if he had, he would be so pissed off that we exist. <laughs> La- laughing on the sidelines. Why would I want to talk to the yeah. guys on the bench? <laughs> right, know? exactly. So. And they're not that funny. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Have you been uh, doing uh, doing comedy, speaking of which? Uh, not really, especially during, like, once once the baby was born. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, I do host uh, by, well, it's it's a weekly open mic, but I host it two every other week. There's another comic here named Shane Lahari. He hosts it the other, the off weeks, which has been great. We started doing that, like, right when the baby was born. Mm-hmm. So it's like not, not going up there every week definitely makes mom happy. Yeah. yeah. Has uh, the baby <laughs> been working on a type five? Yeah. Uh, she she's mostly working on like faces and act outs right okay. now. Oh, sure, okay. sure. She doesn't have a whole lot of control of what she does. She keeps pooping herself, which I know is like certain certain mics <laughs> will like the Kirby's mic. They'll that, love that. that gets you out of stuff. That's, I've been told. They say that that's yeah. what really made Pryor's career. <laughs> just shitting himself, <laughs> shitting himself <laughs> just on stage. Shitting yeah. himself. That's how he got started. And hopefully, then, she's not setting my car on fire. Yeah, or anything. You know, or herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, anything Have you else? ever heard the story no. behind that? What, him setting a car on fire? No, himself on fire. Oh, no. I think he, doesn't he tell it in one of his specials? I'm sure. Um, maybe but an exaggerated Yeah, he, he and a friend were just fucking blitzed out of their mind on heroin, I believe, watching a show. There's a, a famous monk in Vietnam who was, like, refusing to leave. And he, out of protest, he set himself on fire and didn't move, basically, yeah. let himself burn to death. And they were watching that, just admiring his dedication. And so Richard Pryor went in the other room and just doused himself with 151 <laughs> and set himself on fire. Wow. And his buddy was like, it was just this wall of fire came running <laughs> down the hallway. The funniest bo- wall of fire you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Top three oh, minimum. Dude, this, this guy could tell a story <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, he used the N-word a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, anything else? There? Uh, Anything else? No. Not really. Just like uh, working and working and realizing how expensive babies are. Yeah. Like getting my bill back from the birth. Nice. That's good. Luckily, the insurance knocked out a lot of it. But that's oh, good. Jesus Christ! Without insurance, it would have cost me eleven grand to have Ooh, a baby. That's craziness. That is I, you stupid. shouldn't spend that much on a baby for, for its, its whole life. life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I sure wouldn't. No, yeah. Of course. <clears throat> yeah. But well. Yeah, that's about it. I had a fucking fantastic week. I finally got to go to St. Louis uh, to Bush Stadium to see the Cardinals play. Um, let me tell you, the uh, the trip there, um, when you enter St. Louis and you're on the highway, mm-hmm. and they have a sign on the side of the road that says speed limit, and it's normally like 65. Yeah, that is a suggested thing. Right. Uh, no, fuck you. I, I was going, I always go fucking like five to 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Yeah. Uh, people were passing me like I was fucking standing still. <laughs> fucking criminal. Jesus Christ. And then there's That's a the, city full of criminals. Is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then there's also the exact opposite of that. So if it says 65, you always have that asshole that's going 40 yeah. and it's, and he's like in the middle of the highway. So. Do they, do they have the minimum speed listed? I, I feel no. like I've seen that in, like, Texas. Yeah. Texas is the only place I've seen, like, a minimum speed listed. Oh, on the turnpike they do. They do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in yeah. Kansas they like do. Like 40? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 40 yes. or 45, yeah. yeah, something like that. I just know that, like, it's always so funny when they're like, look, we this is the we're going to start ticketing you for going too slow, getting in too many people's way. Right. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Oh, and then when we uh, we we got to our our hotel, which we stayed at uh, the Hilton at the ballpark, so it's like right, right fucking there. next door to the actual stadium, which was fucking legit. Can you look out your window and see the stadium? Kind no, of thing? we could look out the window and see the arch, uh, but we could not see the stadium. However, on the top of that hotel is a fucking cool bar to where you can see the stadium, yeah. and so we were watching. Uh, one game uh, the night that we got there legitimately from the stadium. And then it was on TV behind us. So I'm like watching it real time. And then there's a delay, obviously. And so it's just it was just so cool to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, so we had a great time that night. And then we, uh, we ended up going to um, Ballpark Village, which is right across the street from our hotel. 
It's ridiculous how they fucking tailgate there. That is the shit. It is so fucking awesome. All yeah. day for a night game. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. That's the we, thing. Like, we, we went to the arch at like, <clears throat> I want to say it was 10 in the morning. There was a 6 o'clock game that night, mm-hmm. and people were already out tailgating and partying for the game that night. I'm yeah. sure. I believe it. Um, but if yeah, you they, like to drink. You want to like it's a good situation to be able to pace yourself. Oh yeah, just get blitzed for the three hours. Yeah, like, yeah. And take nine hours mm-hmm. and take it nice and easy. Yeah, a and, lot of cornhole in. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. And they do have areas for uh, for cornhole down there. But um, we ended up going to uh, the bar right across the street from Bush Stadium inside Ballpark Village uh, because it's a double header. So we had uh, we were going to the night innings. games. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we went to the night game instead of going to the day game. So. Um, I was really fucking excited, realistically, to only see one player play. Just one. Yeah. And that's Yachty. And so I'm so pumped. And I know, like, I, we got to see Pujols hit 698 from the bar, just, like, sitting in there. And obviously, you could hear everybody go fucking nuts. Did it make it up to the bar? No. It didn't hit it, it didn't. No, okay. he didn't get in there. No, he, he was a little bit light on the steroids that, that okay. particular game. Yeah, he should have juiced. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> um, but... Uh, it turned out we ended up going to the night game, obviously. go. We had great, great freaking seats. It was in the Redbird Club, so it's like a private bar and shit. It was so cool. And then when it came down to release the starting lineups for the St. Louis Cardinals, I wanted to mainly see three players. I wanted to see Yadier Molina, Adam Wainwright, and uh, Tyler O'Neill. I could care less with, uh, with pool holes, but it would have been kind of cool. And guess what? None of them fucking played. Oh, really? Yeah. Albert Pujols ended up coming in for a pinch hit, uh, which which he, he pinch hit in, like, I don't know, like the fifth or the sixth or something, and struck out. It was also 0-0 the entire game up until extra mm. innings. Love a good pitcher's duel. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was a very questionable call uh, that the Cardinals ended up scoring the, the winning run on a uh, comebacker, I believe it was, to third base, and third base tried to throw him out at home. And he was definitely not in the base path. He he was at least three. I think three. I saw this yeah, play. Yeah, but they didn't call it. And so uh, that was a 0-0 zero, zero game up until that point. Now, Fuck. coming from third, you don't have to stay to the outside, do you? Uh, you're supposed to. Um, generally from I, third base. I know base. you're supposed to in case you get there's a foul ball and yes. it hits you, you're not out. Yes. Uh, you're supposed to be on the outside of the foul line, though, not the inside. He was definitely on the Oh, inside. he was on the pitcher's mouth. Yeah, practically. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, uh, it was kind of... Blatantly obvious. You mean in that. when you're running? See, I don't know much about baseball. Yeah. Football is about the only sport I really know. When you're running from third base to home plate, or from home to first. Yeah, or both. from home. You're both. supposed you're to stay on the outside, outside of, of like the, the baseline. Longer way, you're not because the inside. Theory. It's so you don't get in the throwing the throwing plane. path oh, okay. of the ball. And uh, this definitely was where he was running was right in the fucking path of the of the ball. So yeah. it they could it was just a, yeah it was bad. And, and it's not like dodgeball where if they throw the ball and it hits them, yep. they're out. So nope. it just it nope. would only fuck up. It's like when you th- try to yeah. throw a pass and you hit the referee. Yes, it's like, yeah. It's like well, it's fine. We can't give you our do over. Exactly. Well, <laughs> sometimes they will call you out for runner interference if you're on the inside half of the base path. Or yeah. They're supposed to. They're supposed to, and they didn't. Um, <laughs> they just wanted to get the fuck so out of there. Right. Felt, Who are they playing? Dirty. Yeah, I kind of felt a little bit dirty. Who are they playing? The Reds. The Reds. Yeah, yeah the Reds aren't in it anyway. So no. what are they going to do? Protest? They want to go home too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I was at the beginning of this season where the the Reds owner was the one talking about like, quit bitching. Like, what are you going to do? I could sell the team and then nothing. Like, you wouldn't have oh, a team. I don't know. Just like, I just feel like uh, not to bring up McAfee again, but I feel like I remember him talking about that guy. That's all I know about the Cincinnati Reds is that they have an owner who's like. Fucking, what are you going to do? Go root for another it, team. It's my team. Is I'm it making still money. in the shot family? I believe so. Uh, Marge <clears throat> shot famously in the 90s, early 90s, um, went, went on record without really being asked in an interview. <laughs> I'm going to offer this. <laughs> about how not all of Hitler's ideas were bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she was kind of, she was still got to be the owner of the team, but she couldn't have, she was banned from having any control with them. Right. And she was just this polarizing chain smoking old woman just as just a haggard old hag she really was a nasty woman and she really had that attitude of, yeah fuck you i'm not selling the team you can't make me do anything before we start the press conference i want to rank my least favorite minorities <laughs> starting with it's like i but i know you guys didn't ask but i feel like it's important <laughs> i know you're gonna so let's just get it out of the way right now first of all asians they all yeah. uh, it's like you can't you can't. You're, you got a racist list, and then you just group all of them into the one thing. You got 
at least say alphabetical yeah. order. Specifically yeah. Laotians <laughs> and Cambodians. Yeah. No, thank you. Jesus Christ. She uh, happens to like the North Koreans mm-hmm. more than the South Koreans right. for some reason. Right. Yeah. It's well, crazy. They got some good ideas too. I they love sure them. do. <laughs> she loves all the crazy ideas. Not everybody needs to know everything all the time. Uh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Or have power uh, to your house at night. Um, but anyways, last but not least, there was a silver lining throughout this whole entire deal uh, we were watching baseball. I actually got to it watch. It sounds like this whole fucking thing has been a silver lining, you prick. <laughs> it is. What's right. a bad day for I, you? Where's the brown spot? I don't know. The, where's the shit stain the, no, <laughs> on the, this trip? The shit stain was like, I didn't even get to like see the player that I wanted to see oh, okay. like play an entire game. Because there's like, like 80 games and they got to, or I guess no, there's 162. That's, that's NBA. Yeah, yeah. So the NBA does that too. They arrest players. So yeah, the they gave him a break and I was really pissed. But that noise. But uh, the cool thing was, was actually on the Cincinnati Reds is now Spencer Steer, who used to be a cleanup hitter for the Wichita Wind Surge earlier this season. He oh. had, and he was involved in a trade from the Twins organizations to the Reds, and now he has moved up to play third base, which is uh, great for him. So I got to see him play. I thought and he was neat. clearly yeah. he didn't go yard. No, he no he did not. Uh, he he went yard his um, his first uh, technically his first at bat. Huh. But it was uh, several. It was about a couple weeks ago, I think. Okay. So it was pretty cool. Pretty good for him. But that was my trip. I had a great time. I know there was a fan or a <clears> listener <throat> that wanted to meet uh, meet me at the baseball game, which I would have loved to do. It turns out he went to the early game and I went to the the late game, so that we didn't get to meet up and make it happen. But probably for the best. It's you, probably for the best. He probably just wanted to pants you. Yeah, probably. Uh, may I mean. I have no idea. It seems like something this crowd would <laughs> want to totally. Do. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go meet Scotty. And I'm gonna pants him. I'm gonna TikTok. I, that's it. true. But like, <laughs> and the coolest thing is, is this is the very, very like first time I legitimately felt like I was around my own people because yeah. there's not very many St. Louis Cardinal fans that like right gather here. in Kansas. Yeah. I mean, it's you would Royals. think it's all Royals or it's the Rockies for some other fucking reason because it's I the th- other direction. I feel like Kansas. I feel like there's a lot of uh, Colorado. Like, yes. I feel like I've seen Broncos stuff here. Yes. Really all of the AFC West. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. But um but yeah, I feel like I've seen Colorado stuff specifically. And here. the Steelers are no, big here too. I think yeah. the Steelers are just big everywhere. It's fucking crazy. Steelers, Cowboys, Packers kind of just end up everywhere. Yeah. It seems. But it was the very first time like I was at a bar in St. Louis with other St. Louis Cardinal fans where when something happened, like when Pujols hit that home run, everybody, everybody went fucking nuts. And i normally I'm the lone motherfucker I've in only, the bar. I've only gotten to feel that at Lambeau Field. <laughs> See? Obviously. Like walking around wisconsin and seeing like the same places i would see chief shit just yes. everywhere it's all packer stuff and it's like oh my god this yeah is, no this kidding. is a whole different experience it's derek's fucking nightmare by the way <laughs> yeah uh but anyways that was my week i had a great time uh how about you mr jeremy oh great yeah a lot of fun mm-hmm. uh you know eric got to bring life into the world i got to take one out that's yeah. great. Got to put my dog down. You said um, it yourself. Which, uh, I'm going to bring the comedy, walk you through that whole process. How about <laughs> oh, fuck no. Uh, yeah, I will. Because um, I, I learned some interesting things. Uh, okay. Oddly enough, it was not the cancer that, that got him. Uh, we noticed he didn't eat anything. This was two weeks ago on Saturday that he didn't eat anything on Saturday. And, uh, okay, to go back through his whole life history... Uh, Dachshunds, miniature Dachshunds are known for having horrible fucking teeth problems. Mm -hmm. So throughout his life, we'd had to have his teeth extracted to where by the time he was like 10, all he had was his four canine teeth pretty much left. Ironic. And those didn't start showing any sign of decay or anything until he was like 12. And they're only supposed to live to be about 13 and a half. So it's like they weren't that bad. And, you know, after 10, they... The, the odds of them surviving the surgery, it becomes very risky to, to put them under and, and all that. So we just let it go. Well, the little son of a bitch <laughs> outlived his lifespan by so much that um, we noticed on Sunday that one of his canine teeth was like pointing out, out forward. And I forced in his mouth and it was like a kid with a real loose tooth. Yeah. And so we took him to the urgent care. And basically, the decay had spread to his jawbone to where it could no longer hold his teeth yeah, in. Yeah. And so if he can't eat, there was nothing we could do. But if it's not an imminent emergency, they won't uh, put a dog down. Um, so they're just like, we can make him comfortable. And uh, I'm like, yeah, let's, let's do that. And then uh, we'll take care of this in the morning with our regular vet. And uh, they come back. And I've always heard that in any major city that veterinarians offices are one of the most uh, broken into businesses. Oh, Jesus. Um, 
yeah, they come back. Uh, okay, we're going to give him some methadone. <laughs> methadone. <laughs> methadone. <laughs> In a veterinary clinic. <laughs> methadone. He's not addicted to heroin. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, he might, he might <laughs> maybe, um, and now. but yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, turns out if if you're a junkie who's really looking for shit, try your your veterinary office. They got some good shit. There. Wouldn't they be? Wouldn't they be the most robbed because the drugs they have are made for the metabolism of a dog, so they're like five times stronger. Ooh, I think that's I, the case. I think that pretty much it's just. They got all the same shit that most of a pharmacy would have. Probably, probably not. Definitely yeah. no armed guards or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless you're looking to steal sick dogs yeah. that are being kept overnight, then you probably have no real reason they to got other than the drugs. Gold yeah. in there. Yeah, so anyways, uh, it was great then the next morning when we went to actually put him down because my wife had to uh, fly out of town for work. Mm-hmm. So I had to take her to the airport and then go do this by myself. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, I had to spend the whole week by myself uh, going through the grieving process. And then for my wife, while she was very sad, it didn't become real to her until she came back. So then I got Saw to watch status. her <laughs> yeah. go through what yeah. I had been going through. So that was a whole lot of fun. So uh, don't get a dog. <laughs> They're sucks. a fucking tragedy as, is what I'm saying. As soon as you spend time processing, uh-huh. you just got to relive it with her process. Right. Too. Yeah, and then uh, yesterday we got his cremains back. They put them in a nice little wood box. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, we had that done with our golden retriever, and the difference in box size is <laughs> staggering. It's a keychain. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's, it's, you put this on with your fob. Uh, that's, uh, so now he's back home, and uh, we're done with that chapter of our lives. Eventually we will get another dog, but not right away. Right. Um, but anyhow, uh, I'm, I'm wearing my – We his name was Mickey. We called him Mickey Moose, and I'm, I'm wearing my, my moose. Yeah, there shirt. you go, yeah. Moose. In, in honor of him. Um, so uh, now that I, I've done – brought the comedy, uh, let's see. <laughs> I've been watching some TV shows. Watched uh, Lord of the Rings. Yes. Or not Lord of the Rings, but uh, Rings, Rings of, of Power. Power. Yeah. Uh, four episodes in for a show called Rings of Power. There's not many rings. <laughs> None so far. I mean, I'm sure people have been wearing rings. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of names that are familiar from other shit. Yeah. Other videos and stuff that I've watched. I've I've watched videos about the history of of Middle Earth. Oh, yeah. And uh, Numenor and all that shit. Um, God, that's fucking geeky. Uh, (laughs) No, it's not. It's never. It's endlessly fascinating that like such a fucking sports heavy bro fucking like I heard these guys talk for five minutes about Lord of the Rings theory and shit like that before we started. It's so weird. Like, all of this sports shit, you should be beating up people who talk like you guys. Right. <laughs> that, that's, yes. what, that's what this vibe gives off. I sure. want to stuff me in a locker. That's, <laughs> yes. that's what I want to be doing right now. Jeremy, it, it Jeremy really and myself are both nerds outside yeah. of this. It's just, it is what it is. It's like, I, like, I've always liked nerdy stuff and also football or whatever, so like, yes. but I don't feel like I present as fucking, like, frat boy as all yeah. three of you guys honestly do. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing though, Eric, and, and I think I brought this up last time I was on the show. Uh, but uh, no, um, about how we're not near as bad as some people are. Mm-hmm. I watched a deal, a, a video uh, called Everything Wrong with the Rings of Power Part 8 <laughs> yes. before the first episode had come out. Right. <laughs> this was just all based on the trailers and people are like, well, they're showing the layout of the city, and in the book it has a map of it, and this building should be over here, and this building should only be two stories tall, and it's four <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I am so glad I'm not you. They have to have something to complain about. They do. Every time. It, can't there's just it. no way that this would have ever been good enough for these people. Yeah. Uh, but it's fine for me. And then also... Uh, uh, House of the Dragon, which has I've been, it's like they're going out of their way not to show titties. They're not. There's no titties. I think uh, they're, they're putting they've extra had, layers on. They've had <laughs> one, maybe two scenes with titties. I think in the first episode there was a couple of scenes, but in 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 the oh uh, yeah no in the brothel when he get when yeah. he got ready to fuck his niece you got to have titties his in the brothel. fourteen year old niece uh-huh. you, know, you know well no she's like eighteen <laughs> oh, now so, yeah, four, eight, four that's years why you guys passed. like this show yeah <laughs> that's the frat boy in you yeah in, incest <laughs> yeah, yeah and my wife was was like well I don't think they're showing it because she's so young. They're clearly showing her fucking that guy. I mean, 
They're just not showing her titties. So <laughs> I, I don't really see the difference at this point. <laughs> yep. And, and I, I think in real life she's twenty or she's something. She's twenty like twenty or twenty two, something like that in real life. Yeah. Are they doing the like Austin Powers bit where they're like holding melons in front of in front of her the whole time <laughs> no. or something like yes. that. Yes, there, so. there's always a support beam in the way yeah. or just like all of her clothing is see-through, but there's just kind of a wrinkle where nipples are. Right. It's, it's She's very disappointing. She's holding a sword in a way that's like just covering <laughs> yeah. the nips. You see under boob, sure. right. top boob, but yeah. Right, the dragon's <laughs> wing comes out. I mean, it's <laughs> the, the storyline is fabulous. Yes, it is. But the titties are yeah. very disappointing. Come on, where the, the fuck? So is it is it like a prequel? Yes. Yeah, it okay. takes place 170 so, some years. So yep. they don't have to deal with the the like ending of the series that everyone no. needed. Right? No. 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 No, they, they get to make their own shitty ending. <laughs> yeah. They get to make their own shitty ending that's really the beginning of the thing right. you actually like. Yes. <laughs> but these books have already been written as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't think they have. Yes, I, they have. Well, the the story has been written, but I don't think they were ever put out in book form. They have like they had uh, God, we're such fucking nerds. So they have the stepping stones, right? There there is an actual uh, book specifically about that war by itself, and so the the characters oh. and stuff like that you already know of. It's fuck. Okay. Yeah, guys, I've nerded out the last <laughs> two fucking weeks. Okay. <laughs> they, they released both of these at the same time, right? Very close to each other. Yeah, like a month apart. So fuck, and I I can't get enough of it, <laughs> and it pisses me off. Uh, because the thing that I like to do is fucking binge watch TV shows and not watch them weekly. So if you haven't started it, if you haven't started it, don't wait till it to get mm -hmm. over and the then point binge Twitter, it. The point YouTube. Yeah, because if you start it, you're fucked because you're going to watch until you can't. But they should so. look to their predecessor. Game of Thrones went out of their way to throw titties. That's true. Into <laughs> every scene possible. I think, like, early on, for sure, yes. I think they were just trying to grab yeah. attention because they, they were, were a new thing. Oh, yeah. People were like, it's a book series about, like, fucking knights right. and stuff. Whatever. Well, apparently that's, dragons? that's cool. how he wrote the books. Yeah. Was tit-heavy? Very tit-heavy. Very <laughs> tit and rape-heavy and sex-heavy. And, and he's got no problem with incest at all. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Okay. The way it should be, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> He's the Dr. Oz of his time. Ding, ding, yes. ding, 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 Okay. All right. Well, we got an excellent show to get to. Um, we got some sports to get to. Yeah, let's talk some fucking sports now before I start sucking dick or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but we can't yet. There's not we, enough dick in Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, we, we can't talk about sports yet because we have to talk about dick, which is that our is sponsor, which is manscaped.com. Uh, nice segue. There you go. <laughs> and they are our uh, excellent company that makes uh, products to help keep yourself groomed, specifically to the Lawnmower 4.0, which help, you know, trims your balls and asshole. That's right, Scotty. How disappointing is it for you when you go to fondle a guy's balls <laughs> and they're just covered in hair, they're Scotty? just covered in hair. It's awful, it's Jeremy. It's disgusting. It's just awful, you Jeremy. see the shimmer. I yeah. do. <laughs> I do. Make that fucker glisten. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do that by using the Manscaped Ball Toner. Mm -hmm. You know, make him look nice and uh, nice and shiny. Uh, JP likes to wear that on his, under his eyes. That's what JP yeah, or, sure I mean, He's about 60, so yeah, sure, like, he's exactly. got to try to get, make himself look younger the best he can. Right. He's, he's been rocking that uh, that gay dang cook look for a while. He has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they also have the uh, ball deodorant, which is very important. It is still hot outside. Uh, here in Kansas, it got back up to the 90s today. So it sure my, did. I didn't my care for that at all. I didn't either. My balls were sweaty. And to 100 luckily, yesterday, I think. It, yeah, and luckily, that noise. the ball deodorant from Manscaped.com helps uh, with the uh, smell of those particular nuts that we were referring to. Mm -hmm. uh, but they make a whole bunch of other products that you can go and check out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are reading uh, these commercials word for word. Mm -hmm. So That's so weird that they wanted to know how Scotty feels yeah. when he fondles <laughs> a guy's hairy it's balls. It's so strange. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but no, we did have a week two in uh, the NFL football. And then, you know, week one, everybody said, hey, it's week one. You're not really going to see, you know, what's actually happening. You, you just got that one tiny sample size to go off of. Uh, now we have two full weeks, and I can uh, for sure say that the Indianapolis Colts fucking suck. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole Matt Ryan's going to come and help take them to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. Uh, wow. I, I don't know. Do you, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. I'm going to say at the end of this season, uh, Matt Ryan will be gone. 
I'm going to go ahead and – I would hope so. Has he kind of declared this his last season anyway? I don't know if he has, but if he has, he, should. he, he fucking should because he looks absolutely awful. Yeah. Uh, but Beating up on the Packers in 2016 is a yes, long time away. That is true. That <laughs> like, is true. Uh, who's uh, who? And in my personal opinion, who I think actually looks worse than uh, than Matt Ryan would be the that of Baker Mayfield and the uh, Carolina Panthers. Uh, they look like shit. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, you're not getting McCaffrey involved. You're not. No. You're not trying to light up DJ Moore. What the fuck? Uh, my fantasy football team is fucking <laughs> struggling right now. Their defense isn't half bad, bad yeah. but they haven't really played anybody good yet. Right. Yeah. It's just it's so fucking weird. Uh, but probably the biggest surprise out of every single one of these teams, in my opinion, has to be the Cincinnati Bengals started off uh-huh. 0 and 2. Um, I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, this like, looks bad. The thing against the Steelers was one thing, but like a Dakless Cowboys team beat for them to yeah, the not, not even feel like they, they were in it. They showed some life for a second. Yeah. But the first six quarters of Bengals football this year have just been lifeless, yep. uninspired. And for the offensive weapons that they have on that team, they should be lighting up the scoreboard. And they suck. But that is because of their absolutely awful offensive line. They, they are they signed a, new three new starters, right? Uh, something like that. Yeah. I don't know exactly, but holy shit. They I should mean, get the guys from last year. They did okay. <laughs> they did better. <laughs> they, yeah. did. they got them to a Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But yeah, you can't I mean, if Joe Burrow doesn't have time to throw or, you know, to find these open receivers, this is what it's gonna be like the, for the remainder of the season. And they need to find something and change it. I saw, I saw a stat that said uh, Joe Burrow has been sacked for more yards than Najee Harris has rushed, rushed for this year. That makes so sense. Far. That's, a, that's a detriment to both of their offensive lines. That's think. correct. <laughs> They're shit. I remember a quote from Joe Burrow when, uh, like during the offseason where who, – who is their left tackle? Um, I don't know. Tyron Smith or like – Let me just get up in a little bit. Cause he, was it like Tyron Smith or something? I feel like it was uh, like the Cowboys left tackle or something like that. I have no idea. But I just remember him saying some sort of a line about how that left tackle came in when they first met. He's like, nobody's going to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, boom. He's getting touched inappropriately way more than he was oh, last year. Yeah. Everybody's going to touch you. Everybody's going to touch him. He's he too is, pretty not to keep mm-hmm. touching. Everybody wants to take this. He is getting molested like a motherfucker. I think yeah, that there was six sacks uh, against the Cowboys, something like that. It's a running lot. around. Uh, yes. Against a very bad Cowboys team. Yes. They are not good. I, they are not. We uh, wouldn't so. we wouldn't expect any of this to have anything to do with his appendectomy, right? That's not that wouldn't nah. make him like more jittery. Yeah. Nah. Being, Did he have it done lighter. during the game? Because <laughs> if so, that may have affected yeah, that, something. Or, or Typically, that takes a little something off your arm. Yeah. Or is it just the classic Super Bowl hangover? Uh, that's the what Super Bowl I, losing team. That's what I'm looking at. Always man. struggles. I don't. I don't know what is that and the Madden curse. Except I don't know that they were necessarily expected to get there. Yeah. That's so usually. Bowl, I guess. Usually they come back the next season determined to make it happen. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's pretty scary. They should uh, sign stuff and they're building their outdoor facility. They seem to really care now. And then yeah. suddenly they're owing too. They should go back to treating the players like shit. Maybe yeah. that's yeah. what did it for them. Yeah. <laughs> but those, those are the teams that suck shit right now. But let's talk about some of the teams that look fucking good. Surprisingly, the Miami Dolphins. Hell yeah. Rally back from 21 points and beat the Ravens in Baltimore. Holy shit, Tua. Yeah. Uh, you can throw to Tyreek Hill. He, he's got an arm. Yeah, he's got enough of an arm. Yeah, I, I did see on, uh, I think, one of those two touchdowns that he threw in the fourth quarter to Tyreek. One was behind him. He did have to let yeah, up a little yeah, bit, yeah. but he was still out and out ahead of the, So, like, he out-threw the defenders, yes. but he couldn't out-throw Tyreek. Tyreek yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh, but surprisingly enough, the, the questions of can Tua not only supply touchdowns for Tyreek Hill, but can he also distribute to Jalen Waddell? Yes, he can. Yeah. Uh, he fucking lit them up. Um, the one thing that I don't really see a whole lot of in Miami, that's a running game because they just throw the fucking ball. Chase Edmonds. No, but Chase Edmonds. Right, with know. that passing game, we'll open up the running game. That's true. For sure. Tua's <coughs> got some speed to him. He, he should, does. He should be yeah. doing like some he was, stuff. he was pretty mobile at Alabama for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, now, one thing that does raise some red flags for me is the fact that they got down 21 in the first place. Yep. Uh, did did they start playing so much better, or did Baltimore stop playing? I think yeah. Baltimore stopped playing. Uh, but if you if you can turn a twenty one point lead in the fourth quarter and lose the game, yeah, there's something kind of goofy. It says something about 
especially for Tua, about his moxie. Yeah. That yeah. he's not willing to give up, that he still came out there to play. And yeah. I, I love that new coach. Like, any interview I've seen with him, he just seems so dry and funny and, like, low-key. Has he graduated high school yet? No. I'm not sure. I think he's an intern right now. <laughs> okay. But they gave him control of the whole team. He's, intern. he's an interim intern head coach. Yeah. I will, I will right. always – I will always uh, – now, at least for the rest of the season, be a Miami fan because they won me two hundred dollars. There you go. <laughs> that's that's all that it needed. Two weeks of gambling. Sports betting is legal There's in no Kansas. No doubt that's going to keep up. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Probably. Not. I just keep. I immediately my I won a ten dollar free bet and I won two hundred twenty dollars. And my wife's like, "Oh great, so you got two hundred dollars to go." I'm like, "No shit, I'm keeping twenty of that. I'm depositing the rest <laughs> immediately because I'm not going to fuck this up." Right. That's exactly <laughs> I'm right. I'm going to keep. They my call profit. that the cash out curse. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Uh, next one, uh, a bench clearing brawl happened in the Bucks and Saints game. Mike Evans now suspended for one game after shoving the shit out of Marshawn Latimer. Have you uh, heard the the conspiracy going around know. about the suspe- suspension? I I don't know exactly how it works with John Runyon Senior's position. Um, if it's the Players Association that helped do the thing, but all I heard was that John Runyon Senior was the one who handed down the suspension. It's a one-game suspension. Right. The one game that he's going to be suspended for is against the Packers, where John Runyon's son is the starting left guard, and they're just like it's oh. a collusion, oh, trying to get, Jesus. trying to finally give Rodgers a win against the Buccaneers and oh, Tom Brady and whatever. No. Um, I, I wouldn't hate it if that was the case. I, I, I just want to win against the Buccaneers. I don't care how it happens yeah. at this point. How did Green Bay I've look? been saying for years, Runyon actually killed Kennedy. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it was actually I am. He's certainly capable. Right Runyon Sr. killed Kennedy. Runyon Jr. is the Zodiac killer. Right. I, right. I, think that's how it, I think that's how it was. Right. Um, they looked great, but they played Chicago. Yeah. So, like, Chicago is, like, they're a 2023 team. They're, they're banking everything on what they're going to do next year and just see if Fields is worth – shit right now so i don't i can't i i'm very confused because the packers beat up on the bears and the vikings got torched by the eagles so i'm like are the eagles just like the class of the nfc right now yes or like and we play them this year so i'm not excited about that but i was legitimately just getting ready to say that yeah my my surprise team out of the nfc to make it to the Super Bowl as of right now is the Philadelphia Eagles. Especially because they're going to win their division. Holy shit. The yeah, Giants they're, they're are the, the big sh- competition oh, in their division God. right now. <laughs> but yeah, the Giants or the Cowboys. Um, once um, Dak comes back, they're not even giving the ball to Ezekiel Elliott. Hey, thanks, by the way. That's my starting <laughs> running back for my fantasy football <laughs> no, team. No three feet Fucks. this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to put the uh, the fantasy football championship belt back on the table next episode because it is going to somebody else by the end of the year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But last but not least, probably the biggest heartbreak out of the, in the entire week. Um, the San Francisco 49ers uh, starting quarterback that they have so much invested into to the points where they, I don't know if they kind of were scared that he's a mobile quarterback, he likes to run. If he gets hurt, who do we have as a backup quarterback? And that's why they kept Jimmy Garoppolo. But I think um, I, I feel like that was just a, a side effect of the fact that nobody wanted what it would cost to get Jimmy, to get Jimmy G between the salary and the capital that they would have yep. to give up. But I just hate this. All all that this makes me feel like is that um, that meme from Breaking Bad where Jesse's just like he can't keep getting away with this. Like I, as a Packers fan have been destroyed by the 49ers many times over the last decade and a half. Yeah, it's, it's been great. Um, so it's uh, all I can think is like, God damn it. <laughs> they, they don't get to get rid of Jimmy and you make fun of them. Cause like, ha ha, nobody wants your fucking quarterback. Start the other guy. Mm-hmm. And then he gets hurt. Now Jimmy's going to go in there and they're going to fucking beat us in the playoffs. Again, I agree. Or some yeah. bullshit. And, and over the last uh, over, excuse me, over what Trey Lance had shown in week one compared to what little he did in week two, uh, having Jimmy G as your starting quarterback doesn't look all that bad. It's probably an improvement. Uh, you're going to have uh, you're basically going to go back to last season and, and and you know what you're going to get out of Jimmy G. You're going to yeah. have a lot of passing to your star guys and so everything's going to be fine. And that's another team out of the NFC now with Garoppolo and less questions. I think that that is another uh, dangerous team out of the NFC. Uh, and uh, best wishes to Trey Lance because that is a season ending ankle injury. He oh. ended up having surgery that evening and if you saw the replay of it that ankle of his was twisted the fuck around isn't he the uh he's the coach of miami now isn't he yeah less questions yeah that's right Uh uh-huh that's it (laughs) love that guy yeah love it (laughs) um but uh other than that uh did anybody else have some games that that were surprising obviously we had a fucking (laughs) shootout in kansas city that was awesome game to watch fucking uh uh i can't think of his name herbert 
Yeah. 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 Fucking that dude. Like I, I love how he he couldn't get he couldn't run three yards because it was hurting so much, so he just threw it away and then yes. immediately throws a dart of a touchdown. All, yes. All I was thinking was back to the the last game that I uh, really remember watching was the one against the Raiders last year where they lost, but they were in fourth down and m- a bunch of yards to go multiple times, and he got it every single time. Yeah. And then he did it two more times. It's like I, fucking – he is amazing. I don't know that, who, who the announcers were for that <clears throat> Kansas City Chargers game, but good God, they were just sucking the it, proverbial Al dick of, a, of Andy Reid. Al Michaels was one of them. Uh, oh, God. And uh, somebody else. Yeah, Kirk I don't know. Street. That's who Kirk, yes. Yeah, he came in. Yeah, uh, why in the fuck? He's a college guy. He's a college guy. They, but, they, they just, uh, they, I think they just brought him in this year. Who, he's just starting this age. year. But, yeah, yeah. He's, right. he's looked the same for a decade and a half. Yeah, What? What? well, what? Is it Collinsworth? Chris Collinsworth? Chris, yeah. I, I think he was having some health issues. He and was having that, some voice stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. But he's still so. with NBC. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's with Mike that. Tirico now. Okay, yeah. okay. But All I right. guess this Amazon thing wasn't just for this week. No, it's Thursday yeah. night the whole <clears throat> season. Yeah. Were you guys able to get it good? Yes. Because yeah. mine kept buffering. Oh. Mine, mine seemed yeah. to be fine. Yeah. I heard people too. were having complaints about it, but like I... When it's not the Packers or it's not like watching Sunday Ticket, I watch the football so much more passively. Mm-hmm. Like it's just kind of yeah. like it's just something to put on while like we're making dinner. Yeah. Or I uh, watch the like Chiefs that. totally passively now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't care. Um, <laughs> they just win it, too much. Yeah. No. <laughs> Until they get rid of that fat fuck coach of theirs. <laughs> oh yeah, that I forgot you hate bastard. You hate the best coach you've had in the last twenty five years. He is a horrible mm-hmm. coach. Yeah. He wins a lot of games because he has the best players, as any coach should. Right. But he's a horrible fucking coach. Mm-hmm. Um, he he has snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory more times than I can count <laughs> and more times than I care to count, and so I won't root for them as long as he's still the head coach. Yep. But I can tell you this is that for the majority of that game, the Chargers looked like the better team. Yeah, until they Herbert really got did. hurt. Yeah, that's really what yeah. I mean, down. the Chiefs really needed that that dumb luck seventh round draft pick. Fucking that uh, that ninety nine yard yeah. interception return because because the Chargers were about to go up by ten points. Yeah, yeah. that was a fucking fourteen <coughs> point swing. Yeah, mm-hmm. there you that, go. That poor tight end, he just looked so tired. He was yeah. like, "Please take me out of the game. I can't." Breathe. Yeah, like I don't know if he got like the last two receptions or something like that. So he was just gassed. Yeah, and then. Uh, Dude, yeah, just it's bad. It's so bad. Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray ended up um, bleeding the Arizona Cardinals to a comeback victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. And uh, last but surely not least, my Detroit Lions beat the Washington Commanders. And everybody knows that that locker room was lit as fuck with yeah. Dan Campbell, baby. Oh. Weren't they down by quite a bit at one point, too? No. No, no the, the Commanders were down. They, okay. the, the, they were down against Philly, and then they almost... <clears throat> Managed to come back. I, I was just watching the ticker. I'm obviously yeah. biased uh, t- towards the Detroit Lions. Obviously. Obviously. You're but, a Kansas guy as a Cardinals <laughs> fan. Clearly, why wouldn't you be a fucking Detroit Lions fan? Barry Sanders, man. He's from Wichita. That's where it started. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Except it just started this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, but, he's from Wichita? Yeah. Scotty, no. 12 months ago. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I played his football at Wichita State. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, Oklahoma State. Uh, but yes, anyway, I know that. I know you enough. know that. But, uh, but re- I'm being dead serious. Uh, watch the Lions. The Lions, I think, may have the ability I, of winning. I don't winning. get the option to watch the <laughs> right. Lions. They're not on TV here. <laughs> I have them winning eight games this year, which is a significant improvement over last year, and I, that is a great thing if they end up doing that. And they're in a shit division. They are in a shit but division. But the thing is, you watch out. You're going to fucking do just well enough to keep Jared Goff around oh, and God, never move on from he, him. But he, but he looked okay. He's not looking like shit. Well, I, I mean, uh, they've got good receivers. Yes, they finally. do. And Amon Ross St. Brown is a fucking beast. Yeah. Uh, DeAndre Swift is a beast, and Jamal, Jamal uh, Williams, Williams I right behind. I love Williams. that dude. He is such a fucking yeah, like SpongeBob out there. Yes, I just I, he was just so quotable when he was on the Packers. Oh, and he's like, hilarious. Yeah, he was the, the so coolest. yeah. But the, yeah, that's the sports that the I got. The embarrassing thing, uh, my K-State Wildcats got their asses whipped by Tulane. Yeah, and uh, that makes KU three and zero. On Blah! the season, <sighs> and K State's two and one. Oh Jesus, this is. I haven't seen many suck. of those uh, rock chalk. Whoever the KU oh, is they're facing ep- from Derek. Oh this my year. God! It's yeah, three more games than I thought I, they would they win. win. This year. <laughs> I, I, I'm and serious. they won in pretty convincing fashion. They, yeah, they, they were beat Houston bad. Yeah. They were not favored to win that game. Uh uh-uh. uh But oh well, so much for that shit. 
Okay, moving on to the fun stuff. We got to get going because this is going to be a long episode, and that's okay because I know that you, uh, as listeners, love that when that happens. Uh, but we started a new segment last week uh, called Would You Do It for $10,000? And we had a really good time with it, so I figured let's do it again. Uh, basically, would you do it for $10,000? It's fucking self explanatory. You can figure it out. <coughs> would you do it for ten k? Would you do a porn scene with an obese woman with hairy legs? For me, the second half of this question isn't as big of the issue because, like, you can you can find beauty in all sorts of shapes and sizes and all that stuff. <laughs> the thing for me, and I don't know if it's just like turning thirty four this year. I'm starting to get older. I don't know if I could do a porn scene because I'm like <laughs> I I'm not going to be able to get hard on command. True. No matter how much you're paying me, that's just going to make it more stressful. Yeah, like, Viagra, my, bro. My dick is going to cost me ten grand. <laughs> oh, yeah. just like it's not not being able to perform. I imagine if somebody's trying to pay me ten thousand dollars in this scenario. They're like, you don't get any fucking, because anybody who's like, yeah, put a bag over my head and I'll do the scene, whatever. Give me the Viagra. You know what? I bet you that there is a large amount of people out there who would, are into soft heavy dicks. set chicks and do oh. the soft dicks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fetish. Yeah. yeah. You, you I, might make 10K running this OnlyFans of right. soft, soft dick and hairy chick. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. But <laughs> hairy chicks and limp dicks. Yeah. yeah. Like. Soft. That's that's probably you'll probably make that money, but yeah, I don't think I don't think any amount of money. I, I think it'd be performance ability. Like, oh God, like I'm not going to be able to like because there, there's going to be people all in the room and everything it's, like it's, that just it's, watching. It's, yeah, it's, it's yawning called, while I fuck. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> I get I get weirded out when my dog is like st at the end of the bed, just his like eyes looking up on the bed when I'm fucking. It's like, uh, this but, is weird. Or like they're hungry or they need outside, so like you're doing <laughs> it and they're barking at you. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> call that uh, when the the hairy chick and the limp dick. They call that. Uh, Follicle acid. <laughs> Follicle <laughs> acid. Yeah, there's no way in fucking hell I could do this. There's no, no way. First off, if you are in a porno. Everybody sees it. Yeah. Everybody finds out. You can't we'll keep it a secret. You're toast. And so there's going to be so many fucking like rumors of me fucking a fat chick with hairy legs for the rest of my life, and I can't do it. it won't be rumors. They're going to have proof. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have proof. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Usually rumors aren't substantiated. <laughs> there's going to be evidence passed around from friend to friend. So yes. How about you, Jeremy? Nobody's going to pay me 10000 for this. <laughs> Let's be honest. But yeah. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, next one, would you do it for 10K? Would you attend a game and wear the gear of your least favorite team and cheer for them? Yeah. The Bears aren't going to win anyway. So, like, <laughs> doesn't matter how much I cheer for them. Give me that 10K and I'll fucking buy more Packers gear. <laughs> See, like, something tells me that Jeremy and myself will have a harder time for this. Yeah. But I couldn't, like, it, it would be so difficult for me to, like, try to put on a KU Jayhawks basketball yeah. jersey and not fucking burst into flames. <laughs> but Start itching. It, it, and there's a cost for me doing that, and it, it just so happens to be exactly $10,000. So I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah, I would. Jeremy? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Not a chance. What if, your, <laughs> what if it's your third least favorite? <laughs> oh, third least favorite? What is that? What would that I don't know. be? Third Just least like, favorite? I, probably like the Bears. Notre Dame. Notre, Yankees? How about the Yankees? No, they're second. Okay. Favorite. Okay. <laughs> it's Cowboys, Yankees, and then probably Notre Dame. Ooh. What, if, um, what if you had to dress like Andy Reid and go cheer for the Chiefs? <laughs> Would you do that for 10K? You could probably pull it well, off. Dress like him is just putting on chief shit. I've done that before for free. <laughs> putting on chief gear to and have that. like a hoagie hanging out of your mouth. Right. I love hoagies. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You, you sure hate this guy for having so much in common with him. I sure do. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a great big oversized Chiefs T-shirt, just like he does. Only it's not really oversized. Your son man. murdered per somebody with a car. Mm -hmm. Just grow out your mustache one game and try to look like him. Put glasses on and carry around a clipboard. I think it'd be pretty funny. The Wichita Walrus. Yeah, the Wichita Walrus. There's How a there's a guy who does that. Yes, who goes yeah. to Chiefs games that looks just like Andy Reid. Only he's significantly smaller than I'd, Andy Reid. I'd, I'd beat the shit out of that guy too. <laughs> <laughs> both of you look Just similar. The way he looks. Both of you. I'm going to yeah. beat up people who look like Andy Reid. I'm going to beat up people named That's, Andy. I, I said that when they lost to the Bengals the second time last year. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you and everybody who looks like you. That's great. All right. Next one. Would you do it for 10K? 
Would you swim with a school of sharks with no cage? You can suck my dick. Absolutely not. I'm terrified of sharks. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. With any questions like this, my first thought is like, well, how much of the medical bill is going to be from severed legs? <laughs> Way, more than 10K? More than 10K. So I'm going to get to pay a few K yes. to get my legs bitten off. No. Have you, have you seen that chick on TikTok that she's like dangling underneath the water and she just has a great white coming at her and all she does is reach her hand out and touch their nose? It's either a great white or a tiger shark. It, yeah. and, and they just fucking go away. I know that you're supposed to like punch them in the nose, right? Yeah, That's their the nose thing. is very sensitive. Being so terrified of sharks, yeah. I know a shitload about you them. You got to look up their weaknesses. <laughs> exactly. Some, somebody had to figure that out. <laughs> and I want to know who it was. Right. Just punch them in the face. <laughs> Turns out, if you punch most things in the face, they yeah, kind of they, leave. They don't like it. <laughs> Call them a douchebag. <laughs> And so what's the second thing on that list? Okay, punch it in the face. Um, uh, put it on land. Those yeah. are the ways to beat a shark. <laughs> That's how you beat a shark. <laughs> this guy had like five minutes to come up with this thing for the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Shark week. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? What kind of sharks? <laughs> the tigers? there's different kinds. Yes, there. It's tiger, tigers and great whites, man. <laughs> what, what oh, well, then get... no. That's stupid. <laughs> what if you get just thrown into the ocean and they throw a bunch of vacuums in there with you? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your 10K, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Clean the piss off yourself. <laughs> no, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, no, there, there is plenty of different types of sharks that I would do this with, but the man eaters, no, no, nurse sharks, I'd do that. Bull sharks, fuck bull sharks, that. Whale sharks, yeah, bull sharks are mean. Yeah, they can be. Oh no, again, the... I'll fight them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tigers are the most aggressive. Bull sharks uh, don't give a fuck; they'll eat anything. No, that's the other way around. Tiger sharks will eat anything. Bull sharks are the most aggressive. That's right. I thought. What about great whites? Where great, do they fall out? No, great, great whites are like. Uh, normally not the ones that you die from shark attacks. From. They're literally the douchebags of the sea. <laughs> they just walk around acting tough, starring in, in Jaws movies yeah. and stuff. Getting their ass kicked by dolphins. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're baby men. Yeah, I've seen Flipper kick the shit out of so many great whites <laughs> yeah. throughout the years. That nice. or, or crocodiles. All right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Would you do it for 10K? Would you dress and drag and go to the most popular club in town? Yeah, yeah, I'm a fucking artist. <laughs> <laughs> I already get on stage and embarrass myself all the time anyway. Why not look beautiful? Actually, you know what? That might uh, increase your views at your uh, at your sets. Just yeah, have fake I do tits. I do love Eddie Izzard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eddie Izzard's awesome. We almost, when we, is it Izzard or Izzard? It's, I it, believe it's... I think it's Izzard. I think it's Izzard. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I've heard both. Yeah. I've heard both. Um, like a few years ago, we did uh, uh, a like comedy Halloween show at the Looney Bin and we were like different comedians and we dressed up as them and did their bits and stuff like that. I did Stephen Lynch because uh, nice. I can sing. Mm -hmm. But my my second thing was like, I would love to do Eddie Izzard. Oh, yeah. Fucking like, I, I, I would fucking tear my ankles apart getting up the stage. <laughs> That's the, what would happen with those when, fucking uh, heels. Yeah, I was on that show, wasn't I? Yeah. Wasn't that uh, one of Tim Maggard's? Yeah, yeah. one yeah. of the midnight uh, shows. And you remember who you did? I, I did uh, John Fox. Um, the, the the Panthers and Broncos coach. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you mean Red Fox? No, the uh, the uh, Archibald Barisal guy. Oh, okay. um, anyways, uh, no, uh, Danny P. Wardy showed up uh -oh. as Janine Garofalo. Yeah, in <laughs> tight pants. And if you, look up Danny P. Wardy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a slender man. <laughs> yeah. He would have probably been the woman in this first porn scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah, there's no way in fucking hell I'm doing this. I'm sorry. But then no. Megan came out as... Uh, uh, Sam Kennison. Sam Kennison, yeah. That oh, that's she perfect. Great. That's great. She was She's great, uh, like, high energy, so she mm -hmm. could definitely do the yelling. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Funnier so. than Sam ever was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, last one. Would you do it for 10K? Would you go streaking during the funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth II? This this is another one where it's not so much like on principle. It's like it's not like oh god I couldn't disrespect the queen. It's like is ten thousand dollars worth going to English prison yeah. for destroying their Mickey Mouse? I am yeah. I am very curious as to which is more dangerous on this list: swim with a bunch of sharks or do this at her funeral? Dude, yeah. Queen's yeah. guards look ridiculous, but they do not fuck around. You know, <laughs> you will get shot. The thing yes. about the Queen's guards, like they take off those hats, big horns. That's why they got the uh -huh. thing in there. So they're gonna stab they're you. All those horns. Stab. Well, it's like a unicorn, like a single exactly. just monohorn. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, this is a big time no from me. I, I'm not, yeah. I, I do not want to get shot. I've I've always 
I, I've always been afraid of becoming a meme, and oh. I feel like streaking at the Queen's funeral. Oh yeah, is, that's how you become a meme. That, you're gonna, everyone's gonna know you for the one thing. My comedy career is done. Yeah. Oh, no, you're dead. Or boosted in Ireland, maybe. Maybe the Irish would maybe. love me. That, I don't want people to confuse me for a soccer hooligan. That's just <laughs> <Yeah>. embarrassing. <laughs> right. That's just embarrassing. So everybody said no. Mm. No. Okay. Definitely not. All right. Well, moving on to uh, bad advice with Jeremy. We haven't done a few of these for quite a while, so. Uh, we're going to make sure we do one this time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Guys, Hi. if you do have any situation that you need the absolute worst fucking advice uh-huh. that you could possibly get, um, that's where we want you to send it to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram uh, or message us on Facebook. That's fine. Um, at Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, we did get one that we we're going to use today. We've got one from Owen Doherty. I think that's how you pronounce it. He wants to know, Jeremy, I started dating a girl with a pretty intimidating father. Any advice on how to make myself look good? If if there's one thing that I know, it's how to really impress people. Um, (laughs) And especially dads. Uh, You know, my wonderful relationship with my Um, (laughs) father-in-law. First thing that I think really any any father of any daughter is going to be impressed by uh, nunchucks and throwing stars. <laughs> Go get as many of those as you can. Carry them on you at all times. If you ask, how many should I get? All of them. That's how many you should get. Um, show him how much you can drink. That, that'll really impress him. Uh, just show up drunk, shot, start shotgunning beers right in front of him. If I can chug a whole bottle of whiskey, I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, Ask him to borrow money and then go <laughs> use it to go buy some really expensive sunglasses. <laughs> Get a tattoo. That, that'll really show him how mature you are. Uh, show him pictures of other chicks that you've been with. Uh, talk about how hot your girlfriend's mom is to him. Um, let's see. Uh, let him know that you've got a future, that you have been accepted to clown college. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, start including him in group texts with his daughter, and be sure and send plenty of dick pics. <laughs> all of, any, any or all of these things, I think, is really going to make him take a nice shine to you, and uh, just do it. That's my advice. Perfect. Love it. Sounds like a winner. Again, if you do have any suggestions for bad advice or situations for bad advice, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Uh, be sure to go and, uh, and follow. Subscribe to that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go trending that direction, I believe. Okay, next we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Self-explanatory, okay? Real shit or horse shit. First one, when watching my favorite team at home, I will scream at the TV as if the players can hear me. Real shit. I, I'll take it a step further. When I'm playing Madden, I scream at the computer for not catching the ball I throw to them. And those ones don't even exist. <laughs> you gotta, you're in control of them yeah. catching the ball. I, I throw the ball. Oh, okay. And then like I push all the buttons to make them catch the ball or swat the ball away. And nope, <laughs> nope, still doesn't happen. So I yell at those guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like there's some like karmic universe or universal power that could exist that will travel my voice and intention to Aaron Rodgers uh-huh. and tell him that he needs to stop choking in the playoffs. Yeah. But... Uh, nothing will ever happen like that. I can't scream into the technological technologically. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is this is totally real shit. I find myself like praying to the players quite often, like. Please, Albert, don't fucking you know do this. Or, ain't ain't the know. first time you've been kneeling yeah. down for some poo holes. Am I right? Fuck oh, yeah, that's that's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I for, I didn't get it. The applause button. That, yeah, broken. yeah, that's that one. Oh yeah. my god, it's, 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 still it's a sad and heartfelt. I broke applause. the sound. The sound <laughs> yeah, he machine. did. He broke the sound machine. <laughs> he sure uh, did. But uh, but yeah, this is real shit for me. How about you, Jeremy? This is absolute real shit. Uh, I will do this. I am in charge of how a team does. Uh, <laughs> I've really been letting the Royals down these last few years um, and more importantly when i will do it uh hey rings of power motherfuckers that building's only supposed to be four stories tall not eight yes you dumb sons of bitches <laughs> you're ruining the show <laughs> all right uh next one real shit or horse shit when going to a restaurant, I always order the same thing at that restaurant. Um, I almost order the same exact thing at every restaurant I go to. Okay. Chicken strips? Chicken strips. Damn it, I, was chicken getting, strips. I was getting ready to say, I was like, let's all say the same thing. A lot a universal thing. You cannot fuck chicken strips. Well, I know no, one place no, that you, fucks them up. Yes. <laughs> but they're, they're the most consistent. 
So long as they are cooked all the way through, yeah, it's but, pretty hard to fuck up a chicken strip. But I think like if I liked like hamburgers and stuff, mm-hmm. then I probably would get I would divvy it up a little more. But like also sure. when I get pizza, I'm always pepperoni, green peppers. Very, okay, very yeah, this basic asshole doesn't like hamburgers. Yeah, I don't like beef unless it's uh, uh, smothered in tomato sauce of some kind, like okay, a lasagna or something. Even then, though, spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. So set out on food. a bun <laughs> nope. with cheese and no. ketchup and mustard. Right. No. no I've, actually, I've enjoyed turkey burgers and chicken burgers more. That is fucking weird, bro. Yeah. That's weird. What okay, rings of power. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking nerd. Listen, fucking the goddamn nerd. building shouldn't be that fucking tall. <laughs> and the, bur- the patties need to be beef. I need to hear that shit mooing. No yeah. shit. Absolutely. Yeah, this is totally real shit. And yeah, I like to just cut it right off a live cow <laughs> and just throw it into just a pan. Chew on it. It's chew chi- on it, yeah. Yeah. It's always chicken, chicken tr- tenders, strips, whatever you want to call them, with honey mustard and fries. That, yeah. That's uh, g- g- bar food. Go for it. How about you, Jeremy? I don't always necessarily stick to chicken strips, but I have my thing at every restaurant that I get every time. Once I find something I like at yeah. a restaurant, I stick with it because mm-hmm. the last thing I want is to pay for a meal and be disappointed by it. Yep. I know that that won't disappoint. 100% agree. Um, here's a fun fact. If you want to see if a restaurant is a decent restaurant and they have calamari, that mm-hmm. is your test. That is your... Whether or not the calamari is good. No, yeah. If the calamari is good, then that, that's a good restaurant. Uh, you. you know who does not do this? What? Uh, our good buddy, Dan the Man. Oh. He is a foodie like you wouldn't believe. Have you ever been to Who Hot? Uh, been a long, long time, yeah. It, how you can basically customize your own meats and vegetables and <laughs> sauces to make whatever flavor. Dude makes like 10 different trips with just small amounts, and he sits there and comments the whole time on the flavors that are coming through. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I do like three trips, and it's the same fucking thing. Beef, crab, shrimp, and chicken with ginger sauce, <laughs> mush, mushrooms, and, and uh, the fucking, uh, oh, God damn it, what are, yakisoba noodles. Oh, yeah. And, and, um, <clears throat> And then, yeah, some uh, Kung Pao sauce, some uh, ginger sauce, and uh, the uh, garlic, hot chili garlic oil. Thanks for describing it. <laughs> and <your whole> <laughs> uh, every time I get that, and he's going back through every Oh, this really brings out the, the flavor of, you know, the, the peppers in this. Oh, I can really taste. I can definitely <laughs> taste the, the different sauces in this. And oh fuck you, Dan. <laughs> shut up and eat your food. <laughs> get a full plate like an adult. <laughs> Eat your fucking food. But if you don't like Dan the man, then yeah, fuck you. It's the least I've ever liked him, and I still love the fuck out of him. <laughs> All right, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I go at least five miles per hour over the speed limit everywhere I go. Yep. And I'm talking through fucking school zones as well. Uh, I'm taking out some kids if they get in my way. <laughs> yes, I go at least five, most likely eight. Yeah. It's five, you're fine. Ten, you're mine. So that's the rule. As long as you I, don't go over ten, they, they won't pull you over. When we were talking about it earlier, I, I'm usually going five over. I deliver food, so I'm trying yeah. to, like, every, every minute counts. Uh, so I'm usually going five over. On road trips, I max out at nine. Because yeah. my thought is, like, when I've gotten speeding tickets, it's always like, oh, you get this much for this many, one to five over and then which they never seem to do and then six to nine over they're like we're gonna get you for this much and then 10 over is when it starts getting bad if i'm gonna get a ticket yep one mile an hour isn't gonna make a difference but that four or five miles an hour more than i would (laughs) good advice i got my first ticket the other day what in 10 years yep no way 52 and a 40 oh wow yeah um sounds like your dating profile fucking motorcycle cop (laughs) oh fuck those are the worst (laughs) oh oh he wasn't chatty, I can tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was all business. But, you know, I'm hoping I can get it reduced to a non-moving violation. But, uh, so, yeah, I go at least that much, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's like, Tano. It's on record. That's right. Yeah. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I would spend an entire week in the wilderness with nothing but survival gear. No. No, I run to get back to my car whenever I'm outside. No, it's a. I just like I I I like the idea of like like my wife and I we we've taken trips where we stay in like a cabin in the woods. Mm-hmm. That's about as close to that as I will really get. I will not be in the wilderness mm. with anything. I'm not going to bring anything anywhere with me that has the word survival in it because uh. I don't want to have to survive anywhere. 
I want to just be there, choose to be there. I don't want to have to fight <laughs> to yeah. make it. <laughs> this, this is 110% real shit for me. I love the Survivor like TV shows, like Alone and, and yeah. anything that has Alaska in the title. I, I legitimately love it. Do you know I why those shows are so great? Because they're over in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have to be out there for a week. Yep. I always think that I would love this until I go camping. Right. And I am so ready to go home the next day. Oh, man, I love camping. As they as don't have gets... showers out there. Uh -huh. I feel so fucking dirty after <laughs> one day. That's right. I just feel grime covered. I don't particularly care for fish. Yeah. So people who live off the land, they used to, I don't, they probably still sell these things. But when I was a little kid, my, my dad got me this thing. It was a, they called it a survival knife. Yeah. And it, it's, it's a knife. It, it was a big <laughs> fucking knife that couldn't cut anything. And then it had a compass in oh, the yeah. handle. Uh -huh. And you could unscrew that off of there. And inside there, it had like a, like a, a saw that you could cut limbs off yep. with for firewood. And then it had some matches in a little baggie and then it had some fishing line and hooks so that you could catch fish and i no bait of any kind <laughs> i have never known anybody who has ever used any of these for any of that oh really it's a knife uh, it's so all it was ever good for i don't know <laughs> no i got the i'll get the flint I, I will i will absolutely rough it i i think it'd be a lot of fun uh, last one, real shit or horse shit. I, I, honestly, uh, though, uh, are, do you honestly think you're tough enough? Because I'm pretty sure I could blow a hole through you with a garden hose. <laughs> I'll tell you a fun story. I, I, I enjoy that kind of shit so much that there was one time that we were we were on like a float trip, and uh, we were around a whole bunch of other people, and nobody brought a fucking lighter. Nobody. And so we have like five groups of people that are camping, and nobody fucking thought to bring a lighter. Nobody smokes. No, exactly. No, They didn't. I was the only one that drank. It yeah. was that kind of thing. Uh, it well, sounds like a shitty trip. <laughs> no, it was actually a lot trip. of fun. <laughs> so, and and uh, I was so determined to be able to create fire by some fucking crazy way and not go over to another site to ask yeah, somebody to the point guy. to where I actually took the battery out of my vape pen at the time and used aluminum foil that we had to actually make uh, and short out the battery and actually make fire. I did that shit. And you learn this from watching Survivor. Uh, and Bear Grylls, motherfucker. Bear Grylls. Yeah. And you can uh, do that, you know, with the batteries that you'll find in nature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you take batteries, You got to make man. sure, anytime you're stranded, you got to make sure you got your vape pen yeah. on you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, when, when I think of surviving off the land, I don't think of bringing my vape pen. Keep, oh, your, vapes, keep your vapes charged in case you need to That's not right. die for a week. You got to go to the outlet includes, in the tree and but, plug it in. Keep by it charged. The way, surviving off the land includes not having bottles of Bottle water. Bottled water, yeah. Uh, There's no knives stream, growing. Water from streams will make you shit yourself to death. Yep, you got to boil it. You got to boil it. You got to boil it. You got to boil that Without shit. Without shit to make fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, I have my battery in my it, vape. That, you, no, you don't get to take that. <laughs> okay. I make the rules here, and you don't get to take that. <laughs> All right, well, that was real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Same thing, guys. If you have any suggestions for this, you can send them to us at Laughing the Sidelines on Instagram. First one, overrated or underrated, slot car racing. Now, I feel like when I uh, saw this earlier, it just, did you change the wording on that? No. I, th I thought I saw something about just like, I had a picture in my head, RC cars. Are, no. are slot cars the ones that are on their own little track? Yes. Yeah. That thing, it's one of those things that looks like before I would ever do it, <laughs> looks so fun. It looks like it would be fun because it's like little cars zipping around, zippy doo -dah, And then you're fucking, all you're doing is accelerating. Yeah. And somebody's stuck on the outside track. He's fucked. It's like, what is the point of this? What is the point? <laughs> yeah. So overrated. It's it's visually, it looks like, like a, it reminds you of a train set. Because like a train set's fun. It only goes one way. Right. But these cars, <laughs> yeah, it's very overrated. This is so underrated. <laughs> that was one of my favorite clips out of the old Norm MacDonald uh, podcast. Oh. Talked about how crazy it was that that guy in Cleveland had three women tied up in his basement using them as sex slaves. You know what my uncle had tied up in his basement? A, a model train set. <laughs> How weird is he? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. No, for me, this is way underrated. My dad uh, and I, it's like a, a nostalgic thing for me and my dad. We, we played with slot cars whenever I was a kid. And now my dad, uh, since that time, has still loved slot cars to the point now to where they sell them 
like in adult big boy sets yeah and they're fucking huge and my dad has a spare bedroom that it is basically nothing but an entire huge slot car racetrack it's fucking awesome you guys should go to fucking town west uh-huh have you been to their little slot car thing yes they have there where it used to be uh the <sighs> halloween store but now it's this weird slot car thing or uh, you can just set up your own track in town west there's yeah, nothing there's there. nothing there. there nothing else there but they've got a, what looks like a great selection you guys should go I'll check, go check it, it out i'll go check do it some out. laps how about you jeremy well the only ones i know are the ones that i had as a kid and they <clears throat> they were one of those things that always they tried to make them on the commercials way cooler than they really were one the track don't work where the shit on carpet it <laughs> always true. wants to come apart uh i had the ones with the two pegs that would go up on the wall Oh, nice. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever have try that with the one peg ones? No. They don't like to ride on the wall at all. <laughs> but, yeah, if you take the curve too fast, you're flying yeah. off, and that fucking car gets wrecked. Yep, you're fucked. Yep. All right. So uh, they suck. They're, it's, it's overrated. Okay, fine. They suck. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Cliff diving. Um, I would only say overrated in the aspect of, like, if you're going to do it, just go skydiving. Um. Uh, no. Just fuck. If if you're going to do this, if you made the decision, I'm going to jump from a very high distance, just go skydiving. Because with skydiving, you've got plenty of time to either open your parachute or uh, come to terms with your death. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with with the cliff diving, you if you hesitate at all, you just fall right into the rocks. Yeah. And that parachute doesn't do you any good. So I'm going to say overrated only because there's a better alternative. Yeah. I, this is it's way overrated. I, I do not have a fear of, of heights. Uh, but I have a, a very big fear of falling from very high points and dying. <laughs> so I'm going to say, fuck that. This is overrated. Jeremy? Yeah, overrated. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're literally toying with death for <laughs> no real payoff. You're going to get wet. At best case scenario, you're going to get very wet unnecessarily. Stay dry. Stay on the, fuck, on the shore. And... Stay alive. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. I would only say do that's the always cli- my motto. Do the cliff diving if you're well versed in those uh, flying squirrel suits. Yes, that would be okay. that would be cool. That'd be all right. That's always looked fun. Like if I get could guarantee that I wouldn't die from it, uh-huh. I would do all of that shit all the time. Okay. I, I always right. like when when one of those fucking daredevils that does that shit whenever they die and everybody's like so sad and it's tragic and <laughs> what did you expect was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did yeah. you think was going to happen? He fell down <laughs> professionally. Yeah, it's, yes. it's like the most it's the most Steve Irwin death ever. Yeah, right? it's like he keeps on fucking with all these dangerous animals. Eventually, one of them are going to kill him. Oh yeah, shit! And it's usually yeah. on one that he shouldn't have died on. <laughs> That's just right. like Steve Irwin. Too That's cocky. exactly right. God, that, that falls was, off his porch and breaks his neck. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I listened to the time suck about Steve Irwin. Oh man, pretty I, entertaining. Yeah, uh, for the for he what was a real dick. Who Steve Irwin? Yeah, no. Fuck. Oh, I want to help the animals. Fuck. You, Steve. <laughs> oh, I still think that if you could bring back like one person who who passed away, I that would be Steve Irwin for me. Fuck yeah, I'd probably say my dad. Yeah, or that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, yeah, stuff like that. I met, I met famous people there, uh, Von Riker. My my dad was famous in his circles. Okay. Yeah, All in right. one of Eric's jokes, he's definitely famous. <laughs> yeah, right. I, that joke's been seven years strong now. <laughs> the, the, still good because he still died good. at sixty three, right? Sixty three. I'll be darn. I yeah. still remember the joke. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Going mudding. Um, I again, this goes back to my outdoorsy thing. Um, I'm probably going to say overrated, just okay. because it's like again, if I'm if I'm going to be like driving a truck around, I'd rather drive real fast on a road versus yeah, all the hills and the 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 mud and the like. Just uh-huh. being associated with any of those people in a party down south. Yeah, I, 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 God dang it! You know what? This is ba- you, you got to get to the details and understand. Yes, you get like maybe fifteen minutes of fun. You're kind of drifting in the mud and shit like that. But what you don't think about is whenever you have to go and clean your truck after you're doing all this shit. God damn, it's dirty as hell. And then on top of that, if you get stuck, oh, that's the fucking worst mm-hmm. thing in the world. You so, have to get somebody's chain. To your truck. That's right. In the mud. <laughs> in the mud. Yeah. So they've got to have a better uh-huh. car and tires than you. That's right. So no, this is way overrated. Jeremy, it's underrated as long as I'm in someone else's vehicle <laughs> <laughs> and I can just be done whenever. And if it breaks down, I, I wouldn't mind having like a dedicated mudding vehicle. This is what I don't get about people with big fucking raised trucks that drive around town and shit. If I was going to have a a 
vehicle like that, it would be a dedicated for off-roading vehicle. It would not be my everyday driver. Right. right. Would that be the worst fucking thing on gas mileage ever and yes. the most impractical <clears throat> thing to drive around town? And yet people just do it. And it's like you're wearing down your fucking tires yeah. that are not cheap. You're putting wear and tear on it. I'm, I want something that chances are I'm going to break it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I don't need that to be my way to work, too. Right. Yeah. I'm going to be able to get to work on Monday. Instead of going mud and just take lunch trays, like high uh -huh. school lunch trays, if you got a front-wheel drive vehicle, and put them on uh, underneath the back wheels if it's a front-wheel yeah. drive vehicle. That's way more fun than mud. If you really <laughs> want to slide around, get yourself a front-wheel drive with a parking brake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it, too. All right, there's some fun ones. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, receiving nudes from your spouse. Um, I'm going to say underrated because hopefully you're with somebody that you find very attractive, and I feel like it's it's like my, I have a very hot wife, I feel like. Yeah, she's very it's, pretty. It's all, it's and again, it's half of my act. Uh, you, wait, um, you fucking married up big time. Big, big time. So I like a nice little reminder of that. Yeah. Every time, so I can just be like thankful. Yeah, and yeah, so I'm gonna say underrated. You say overrated to this? You're a fucking idiot. I, titties are titties, regardless of what that situation is. And again, my wife is hot as well, but she refuses to. Absolutely refuses to. You want to know why? She thinks she'll share them with Jeremy. She, she thinks <laughs> no, not even that. She thinks that she's going to accidentally send it to somebody else. That's the whole like thing. But I think it's kind of a cop out. She you just should, doesn't want to do it. You should buy buy her a phone that only has your phone my number phone in number it, in it. Yeah, and no other contacts, no internet access, just yes. ability to text. Absolutely. Pictures. Yes, but this is uh, <laughs> this is fucking underrated. If she would do that, that'd be great. Thanks, hon. Jeremy. <sighs> It's overrated. I'm gonna, <laughs> at, at, at this point, honestly, I can see her naked whenever I want. My, we're at the point in our relationship she pees with the door open. Um, <laughs> so seeing her naked a lot, I mean, it doesn't always bring the best things to mind. Um, but, yeah, it's it goes back to that thing of once you send something over the – airwaves somebody else can grab it yeah it's true or even just be looking over your shoulder at your phone this is true so she never has <sighs> yeah done this for me um and i'm 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 okay with that <laughs> okay fine and last but not least overrated or underrated intercourse lasting longer than 30 minutes the fuck for <laughs> overrated who is that for who needs it <laughs> She does. No, she doesn't. No, she's, <laughs> not if you're doing it right. That's she's true. tired of it. It's yeah, <laughs> true. Like, like fucking get get down there with your mouth, power it out in ten <laughs> minutes tops tops. There's no reason anyone should be unsatisfied. It, like if if nobody's coming at the fifteen minute mark, just call it a day. You're doing, it, it, wrong. You you're doing, doing it wrong. You are doing it wrong. Go eat a sandwich, <laughs> drink some milk or something. I don't know. Whatever gets your cum going. <laughs> yeah. Like nobody should be like, especially like now that now that we're parents, it's just like we don't we're not gonna have that time. No. Like, that kid's gonna be awake soon. So like, just fucking pound it out. Yeah. Get on with your day. Like as a young young man. I had some staying power, and I could go a <laughs> while, and I used to think I was really impressing these girls, and looking back on it, I'm thinking how bored they must have been. <laughs> it's like, you proved your point. Come already. Right. So it's, like, it's not like you're doing anything spectacular. Right. Again, if you were doing anything worth doing and and uh, worth actually putting into the process, mm -hmm. it's going to get the job done quicker uh -huh. than That's that. That's totally true. If you're doing it for 30 minutes, you're doing it wrong, and you should take a break just... Yep. To go read a book or something. Yeah. Now, <laughs> masturbation Google's more than stuff. 30 minutes for fuck, sure. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, unless, unless you're specifically like doing, trying to go for the sting tantric, like you're going for a fucking experience. It's like doing okay. shrooms once every six months. Every other time, drink a beer, smoke a joint, just fucking get lit and get on with your day. <laughs> but like, no, it's just like, it's our anniversary. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to edge. Yeah. Like, whatever. That's it's romantic. If, but like, uh -huh. day to day fucking. No. Yeah, this is totally overrated. If it takes you half an hour, then you are probably trying to fuck an obese chick with a limp dick. That's what's happening right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there's my call back for the if, show. If it takes longer than 30 minutes, shave her legs and try again. No, <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. That's what you need to do? Manscaped. Okay. Manscaped. <laughs> no, it's way, 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 way overrated. In fact, I think like the average, the like the uh, preferred average for most females is like like right around 10 minutes, yeah. roughly. And uh, 
if I could give anybody any idea or any advice, um, you <laughs> make sure that she has an orgasm. Don't just have an orgasm and leave her out. And yeah, that's I very important. I will see porn on my phone in the time that it's for, and I'll be like 45 minutes. No, thanks. <laughs> what? I don't need any exposition. Yeah. No, that's multiple <laughs> scenes strung together. No, no. no. It's Clip not show. the stuff I watch. Oh, Jesus. Okay, fine. All right. Well, now going a little bit long, but that's okay. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for these, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines uh, on Instagram. And we're going to start with the very first question. This is, let's see, there it is. First question. What's something an overexcited fan would yell at a dog show? Would you look at the balls on that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That what came to my mind first. I, I, do, I can already see it happening. I, I want the person that's actually trying to communicate with the fucking dogs by, like, barking and yipping and howling. That's what I think of. Oh, he's a good boy. No. <laughs> 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 You fucking loser. <laughs> Leaning over the ledge, trying yeah. to fucking snap in their fingers. Come here. Come yeah, here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that's mine. How about you, Jeremy? I guess I'll take the low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Look at that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. You got to do it. That's one. Yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. Ah, oh, good-looking bitch there. All right. Uh, next question. A rejected title for a biography about himself, Adolf Hitler. Fuhrer, I hardly know her. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, man, I, I went way darker. I went ashes for Adolf. That's mine. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mine cat. Uh, <laughs> it's just all about him and life with his kitty cat. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Which, by the way, have you guys ever uh, read Mein Kampf? No, I won't. I, I mean, I should, but I, I, I with the last name Riker, I think I'm legally not allowed to read anything okay. Hitler yeah, related. Yeah, I a guy loaned me a copy in English one time, and I read it expecting like this just horrible, evil, like a how-to book on how to be evil. He is such a sad, pathetic. Like he's the guy who got stuffed into lockers. And yeah, shit. He's, sure. You almost feel sorry for him. <laughs> he is so fucking pathetic. I don't understand how that book inspires anybody right so it's a shit book so it did is. your friend loan you this book on his way to the capital he he's actually a history professor oh, okay. Okay. at a All college right. <laughs> <laughs> no he gave it to jeremy going this is why we don't believe yes. this all right <laughs> anyways next question what's a group that no tour bus driver ever wants to have assigned to their bus uh people just getting out of the nazi dog show Nazi dog show. Is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, I was thinking more of like a music music band, uh, you know. Uh, like those the, music bands? Well, they're just like bands. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the, like the Stinky Twinkies. You sure. Know the, or Dickhead Mike and the Duck Farts. Sure. Those music bands. Yeah. I love those movie watchers. <laughs> those, or, those song hearers. <laughs> or, or my favorite that has ever been on this show, the Cracker Blacks. I don't think you <laughs> So I don't yeah. think they would want those. How about you, Jeremy? I'm going to go uh, a group of, of Tourette's sufferers <laughs> that I think that would be a loud and offensive bus. <laughs> it what sure if, would. What, would it be worse if they've got, like, the, the blinky Tourette's-y thing that I have? That where you just have? Like, like, five people just all, like, oh, in yeah. your rearview mirror? <laughs> that would be kind of weird, creepy. Yeah, but some of them have to yell shit out. <laughs> yeah. like, Fuck At you! Tits <laughs> cock! So just, just the one guy who yells all the stuff out, and the other guys are like, I'm, I'm sorry about Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we never even brought up that, that Tourette's that you have. We've never even talked I about think it. That I, don't, I don't know what it is exactly. I've got, some, I've got weird like OCD blinky things. I'm also like, on the spectrum to eyes. some degree. Well, that too. Jennifer yeah. Aniston had dry eyes. Her friends didn't even know. You guys believe that shit? <laughs> So I follow another person on TikTok, and it's it, it's a younger guy, and it obviously she has Tourette's, she has verbal Tourette's, and it's very very like obvious that it, it's an extreme case. Mm -hmm. But one of her tics drive me fucking crazy. She has one that's good, she basically just randomly just goes wind it up. Wind it up, why, like wind oh, it up. I was just like, but then, between the hand signals and talking about white stuff, yep. it's too. <laughs> so then, she's like Arsenio Hall. <laughs> yeah. Then she just goes, "You're done." 
you're done. And I'm like, oh, no. I, ooh, I couldn't be around the that woman. The fuck I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I I'm would. just getting started. That's I was. Right. That's until right. you did that shit. <laughs> That's right. I'm just getting warmed up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Great ass. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, <laughs> next question. Oh, I, did a, I had an honorable mention uh, of Creed for that one, by the way. The uh, band, the Creed. band Creed. Oh Jesus! Could you just imagine in the back seat? Just, Can you take me higher? Yeah. Well, fuck. he wants the oh. bus to go up the hill. That's where the sights. Oh, are. that's true. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's a nice view. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> next question: What's the pep talk you'd get from a football coach who bet on the other team to win? Uh, we we had this talk about uh, Dan Campbell earlier yeah. in the yeah. Lions. I feel like you just be like. <laughs> Man, I want you to win the game, man, but, like, by two and a half or less points, <laughs> man. Just, like, let's go out there and hit them hard, but not too hard. Uh, okay, here's the deal. I, I think I have this uh, nailed right on the head. You know how whenever you 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 have a team that's p- playing a team that's way better, and mm-hmm. you always have the coach that's really, really positive, and they're always just like, you know what? They may look better than you on paper, but it doesn't have anything about your heart. Any given Sunday. Yeah, exactly. I want the exact opposite of that. I want him to be like, this team is very good, and you're going to lose, but let's look as good as we possibly can and go with and see what happens. Look, we're all trying to get jobs next yeah, year. Yeah, exactly. We're all trying to get jobs. <laughs> let's, I mean, let's do our best. But, I mean, they are better than we are. I, I'm just the negative Nancy guy. Listen, guys, it's a long season. <laughs> Let's not blow all our energy on this one, okay? We win this you game, guys we look, get excited. You guys look tired. Let's get you some Gatorade. Let's get you some sideline time. That's right. Some Let's put the backups in. That's what right. do you say? Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's, uh, let's see, last question. A strange thing for a ghost to whisper in your ear. I see living people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> just go eating ahead. your sandwich. <laughs> go ahead, go. I just got another one. <laughs> <laughs> like boo with a period. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, and I think this would be a really good. <laughs> what did Chad Daniels had talked about? How he got. He got heckled by somebody, but more like a ghost. Boo! Boo! What do you do at Halloween? Do you dress up like a ghost and jump out? Boo! Or no, no, that's what you yell at the kids. He he heckled him going, boo! Boo! Do you dress up at Halloween like a ghost and jump out at trick-or-treating? Boo! Boo! Horrible costume! Boo! Uh, no, I, uh, the real one... Uh, would you like to talk about your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> him. He's a real nice guy. He's a real nice guy. I've <laughs> been trying to reach you about your car. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That was the last one. <laughs> okay, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions for any of our segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Make sure you go and subscribe to that because uh, there are changes coming soon. Uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, I am the only one that was here last week, so technically I fucking win. Uh, pat on back, <laughs> bought my own belt, all Self of that high shit. Five, <laughs> yeah, self high five. That's right. Well, I guess it's that. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, so because of that technicality, I get the champion uh, picks, which is back to back last. Um, because we have a guest on, uh, none other than Mr. Von Riker, you get the first and me. picks. You are not a guest, sir. You are the standard. You are the best thing on this show. Goddamn right I am. It ain't even a <laughs> I should be here more often. That's right. Head of the table. That's right. Uh, but Jeremy will get the sandwich picks. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this week's draft will be – oh, actually, before I get to that, um, we did the uh, – I don't know if you saw the draft last week, but it was um, highway, like uh, – what are those fucking sightsee things? Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw the <laughs> yeah. post. Yeah, the – Attracted or er, attractions, yeah, roadside yeah, attractions, roadside yeah, attractions. By the way, yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, so this week's draft is going to be um, our favorite shows to binge watch, okay? So that means it has to have more basically more than two or three seasons. So this has to be a show to binge, 
And uh, Mr. Von Riker, you get first pick. First one that came to my mind when thinking about this was Breaking Bad. Yeah. Because mm. I feel like it's one of those top five shows, dramas at least, ever. Yeah. And <sighs> it's just every episode feels so tense because it feels, it feels like until things get really crazy, very grounded and like getting yep. into the drug world. It's... It's just it's such a good show with such good actors. It's like Brian Cranston putting him back on the map. It's As fucking the, dark. The, yeah. the the first two seasons are like this semi humorous fish out of water guy in this drug world who doesn't really know how to be in the drug world. Just and it. then it gets fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> just nuts. It, it is does. it's going I'm, nuts. I'm it's certainly in my top three favorite shows of all time. For wow. Sure. For sure. Really? Okay. Yeah. It was just so good through and through it, and it managed to have an ending that didn't disappoint. Yeah. That's true. It was actually very well done, in yeah. my opinion. So, All right, Jeremy, you get second pick. Uh, Sopranos. Okay, you can fucking have that. Yes! I know I can have it. It was my fucking pick, you jack off. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me fuck? what I can and can't Who have. I'll take some of your fucking picks. Oh, no, you won't, because, of, of course, if you were going to go there, we've already talked about it, Game of Thrones, baby. Yep. And every, I recently binged it. That is the uh, best, best, like, what, nine, what, 8.9 eight, seasons. Eight seasons. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's eight seasons? Yep. Okay, so that that is one of the best seven point nine episodes like seasons because that last episode was absolute horseshit. You can tell though there is a certain point season six in fact where what's his name not not J.R. Tolkien but George R. 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 Martin. Yeah. Um where he he stopped being the one who wrote the shit. They're not taking it from his books and right. that yeah. the two guys running the show everything there's there's like a fucking I, I don't know there's like a a change in the way that the whole story works that doesn't fit with the first five seasons, but yeah. still really good and lots of titties, <laughs> lots of titties. Of course, uh, I I I'm gonna now pick one that I think is kind of a dark horse and a sleeper, but uh, no, fuck it, I'm not do. I, I you guys aren't gonna pick that anyway, so I'm not gonna pick that one right now. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, no, I would say do 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 do. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the office. I love that fucking show. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was gonna be one of mine. Yeah, I love that fucking show. God, it's fucking funny. All right, Jeremy, Ozark. Yep, I couldn't stay into it. I watched the first season and then I just lost it, lost all interest. Okay, I know the end of it pissed a lot of people off. I don't know how in the fuck you expected it to end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Von Riker, you get two picks, dude. Uh, my first one, uh, one of my favorite shows, Dexter. Okay. I feel like uh, it's another, same along the same lines of Breaking Bad, except like he's got much more a desire to be doing what he's doing. Yeah. But it's just like that, kind of a, probably a similar thing with The Sopranos too, like anti-hero, yeah. riding close to the edge. Should we support him? Is he doing the right thing? Shit keeps the, going down. People those are keep the dying. best shows where there really is no good guy. Yeah. Even the good guys are pieces of shit. Like flawed. Yeah. And uh, that's what brings out the best in them okay. um and uh my next pick i'm gonna say the walking dead okay I, I i i've always loved that show i feel like it's uh it's in progression they've had so many different like casts because it's not like the office where you got a right. great bunch of great actors but nobody dies everyone dies so they've got to keep replacing them and it's still the quality <clears throat> has just been good it's season after season it's for, time to end yeah i'm gonna say that and it, it does end this year i believe i think so Okay, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, you're up. Me? Yep. Well, um, <clears throat> my my next pick was taken. Oh, so um, that's a movie, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I can't. <laughs> but there's several of them. I like to binge all three of them <laughs> oh, yeah, that's in true. a row. Yeah, a series. Huh? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go Shameless. Okay, that's a good pick. My wife watches that. I don't. I'm surprised. There's I, one that's there. Because you have I'm shame. Like, You're full of shame. <laughs> I am full of shame. You are just walking, talking shame. You're like the personification <laughs> of shame. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take my sleeper finally. Uh, very, very like hyped show to where every single episode is exactly one hour in real time. I'm going to go with 24 with Kiefer Sutherland. Mm. I fucking loved 
that show. Doop. Yeah. Doop. Loved it Doop. back in the day. Um, I never got into it. It was great. It was I know people so who did. Fucking great. Yeah. Uh, I then will also take uh, one that I I don't think anybody else would have picked, but if you have the opportunity to go watch this show, it is so underrated. Um, it is called Turn Washington's Spies. Hmm. That is a very very cool um, depiction of the actual true story. I guess, uh, of basically the first spies for George Washington and how we it's, won. It's dramatized. It is dramatized, uh, but the characters that they have in there are actual real people, and they know now. They call it the Secret Six. There's six spies, um, and George Washington didn't even know who the fuck they were. Like Those he actually were didn't know. Spider-Man's huh? enemies, weren't they? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. The Secret Six? The Secret Six. Uh, but no, even to this day, they still don't know who one of the people, who one of the spies are. They just know it's uh, most likely a Green woman. Goblin. Yeah, Green Goblin. That's it. So that's uh, that's mine. <laughs> Turn. How about uh, how about you, Jeremy? You get fourth pick. I'm going to go Stranger Things. Yep, that's since the I one. just binged it. That's yeah. what I was just getting ready to um, like question. How how in the fuck has that one not been picked yet? I don't like it, so it's not not. For you know what I found out just recently uh-huh. about this Millie Bobby Brown? She's a fucking flat earther. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, what a really? fucking weirdo! Don't but, care for that. No. <laughs> you believe all. the Earth's round, right? Yes. yes. But the but the moon's flat. The moon is flat. Moon for is sure. Flat. They Man, landed geez. on the moon. That's right. I said this. Uh, if I said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. You, they landed on the moon. You cannot land on a round surface. You'll tip over. <laughs> That's right. So it has to be flat. <laughs> All right. Eric, you get your last two picks, dude. Um, the first one, I'm going to go in a similar vein uh, of The Office, and some would call it the uh, bastard cousin of The Office, at least at first. Parks and Recreation. Yep. I love that show. It, it it's felt, better. It's, I think, towards the end. I think consistently. Like, I love The Office through and through, but I feel like consistently Parks and Rec was uh, mainly because they never replaced uh, Leslie Nope the way that they eventually had to replace Steve Carell. So yep. maybe that, maybe that kind of screwed it up. Well, but I feel like it's Ron just such Swanson a good. Ron Swanson is the best character ever. Ron in history Swanson, of, Andy, and Chris Pratt is fucking. Chris hilarious. Pratt is so fucking good. He like, is. It's it's just that ensemble show. You can just watch the this group of people be together for years, and they're always funny and entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> I love the ever changing uh, <clears throat> paintings. In the hallways of City Hall, I just think I noticed that. ever changing, horrible scenes of, <laughs> oh, of yes. colonizers doing shit <laughs> yeah. to Indians, and just Ron Swanson's fucking hilarious. Uh, Ron Swanson's <clears throat> my favorite. He inspired yeah. me to get into woodworking. <laughs> All right, and then your last pick. Uh, with my last pick, I I was torn between two projects from the same person. Okay, and one of which has been a lifelong love, and the other one I've just recently started binging a little bit. I'm going to go with the lifelong one, though. Uh, Futurama. Okay. I, I've always been more of a Futurama guy than a Simpsons guy. Uh, I don't know, just just of the time for me when I was a well, kid. Well, you're, you're a very progressive guy. Very progressive. <coughs> love Futurama. Um, but I love, I, I've just always loved the humor of it and everything, and I love watching the episodes back now and them thinking, like, what – what references people would have a thousand years from the year 2000 when 20 years on, it's like they never talked about COVID on, no. <laughs> on Futurama, not one time. That, that should have been in there. But yeah. like, I just feel like it, it was always such a good show and it's just got so many jokes after joke after joke. Yeah. It's very joke heavy. And then it's also got sad moments like with Fry's dog and all that stuff. Is, so, it, is it written by the Simpsons people? Matt Groening. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's all the same. I think they're coming back for another season. For some reason, but which I didn't realize he's old as fuck. I didn't. I don't know how old he is. He he he's was in on forever. some very like early early seventies sitcoms. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like Happy Days or some shit. Well, The Simpsons itself has been going on for thirty five no years. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was in high school. Jeez. No. Jeez. Junior yeah, high. I was in junior high when it came out. Jesus. Okay. Well, you got one last pick. You gonna go with The Simpsons? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to. <laughs> Mad Men. <laughs> Mad Men. Okay. Yeah. That's another okay, AMC those. and HBO has some good shit. They do. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad it got back to me. This is a very, very underrated show. Uh, my wife started watching it, and then I just sat down, like, I think it was maybe the second season. I just, sat, Hazard. just sat down and started watching and got Hogan fucking Zero. hooked. No. It's called Prison Break. 
Oh, Prison yeah. Break for me was it was just so fucking off the wall. Like there's no fucking way that this is actually it could happen. Yeah, and it's it's so out there. But I've God, never even heard of it. Damn it, nobody keeps that you on your pretty, seat. Nobody that pretty in prison. Oh yeah, it's, oh, that's <laughs> totally true. Oz? <laughs> no, but that was probably the best part about Prison Break is is the characters as far as the prisoners the, like yeah. the prison the, the fucking creepy guy i can't even remember his fucking name god he's psycho i feel like uh that show is in the like if it if it is any good you wouldn't expect it because it was like a fox drama fx action, or what well, didn't it come out on fox originally i believe it was fx originally if i wasn't it a remake now that i'm thinking about it mm-hmm. wasn't it a, like a, a reboot of an old from the 70s show from the 70s not that i'm aware of and no. i wonder if i'm thinking of the same thing this was back in 2005 that's how old it is jesus christ you know i remember when the original transformers movie came out in uh, 1985 and they said all the way in the future to the year 2005. Yeah, that was that was the big selling point on that that they went into the future. Uh his name was T-Bag. That's right. Theodore uh yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh Theodore Bagwell, he's a fucking creep. Teddy Bag. Oh my god, he's fucking creepy. All right, but yeah, excellent show. So that uh, do you have any uh, honorable mentions? Oz. For Oz. Sure. Okay. Uh Justified. Have you ever watched Oh, I saw, that's a good one. Timothy God Lefant's damn it, why FX. didn't I think of that? That's yeah. a, that is a very good show. show. It's good. Uh, Walt, Walter Goggins is one He's of the... Great. He is such a good, He's diverse a good, like, actor. He's a hero in that and show. Doesn't he, he play a trans so creepy. chick in... Uh, in um, uh, God damn it. He Yes, in Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. There's well, another one. As a as a cross-dresser, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, he is... But he's on... He's been on some HBO shows with uh, Danny McBride. Yeah, the um, the vice principal. Yeah, yeah, I never watched that. But and it always and then there's like that so Righteous Gemstones. He, he's on that too. He's also it's Downtown Anderson watch. for Major yeah. League Three. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I don't remember. The How third did one. I pull that out of my ass? Back in the minors. Back Major in the minors. League. Back, Back in, in the, the minors. minors, yeah. That ain't no shit. How did I fuck That it? is such a shit movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I fucking love that one, too. I think that I think Back to the Minors is actually better than Major League 2. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> and Major League 2 wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is our favorite uh, TV shows to binge watch. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the list that has your favorite shows to binge watch by clicking on the corresponding emoji. Whoever wins gets a pat on the butt. That's what you get. Mm-hmm. Uh, and right. maybe a finger. Yeah, maybe a finger. <laughs> Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and <clears throat> Legos. That's right, Scotty. On November 12, 2001, uh, Flight 587, an Airbus A300B4, left uh, JFK International Airport. That's out of uh, New York. It was headed to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Uh, right after takeoff, it started to climb and bank to get on the correct heading. When uh, the vertical stabilizer, that's the, the fin mm-hmm. that goes up and down, that uh, really helps keep them uh, stable, uh, fell the fuck off. <laughs> it fell the fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I guess it was on with tape, Um, (laughs) but it fell the fuck off, uh, causing it to lose control, and it crashed into the Bell Harbor neighborhood on the Rockaway Peninsula of Queens, New York. Uh, It killed everyone on the plane, all 260 passengers and crew, along with five people who were just hanging out on the ground. Uh, You thought you were having a bad fucking day. (laughs) The sky is killing me. (laughs) And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, come fly the friendly skies. (laughs) God damn it. That sucks. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, I didn't even buy a fucking ticket. (laughs) 
<laughs> falling it's not planes. even a gamble I took. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It fell the fuck off. <laughs> I build airplanes for a living. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. No. I can say that with all honesty and all my knowledge of aircraft, that shouldn't happen. Right. Yeah, it definitely They're shouldn't. They're built to not do that. Right. <laughs> Specifically. Yes. you got one when, job. When, whenever oh. somebody, the guy who does that, whenever they say, put this on, they mean so it'll stay. <laughs> right. It's don't not a just hat. don't just balance it. <laughs> Screw it on or something. Uh. <laughs> All right. This week's uh, laughing on the sideline shitty situation is: Would you rather be driving your car and you have to do one of these two things? You either have to straddle the center line of uh, a, the four lane highway, so you're blocking two two lanes, or only pass people on the shoulder on a one on a on a one lane street. <laughs> I don't even think there should be a shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just curb check the fuck out of it. Go you, around them. You don't get brakes. You cannot. You're not allowed to hit the brakes. If people are stuck, you can turn, only go faster. You can only go faster, and you have to. <laughs> that would be. If if I wasn't pretty sure you'd die hitting a parked car, I would love to do that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, I think I think at the end of the day, this boils down to: Do you want to look like an idiot or do you want to look like an asshole? <laughs> and I think I think I'd rather look like an idiot. Really? I, I think so. If only because I'm I it can look like I'm just accidentally kind of breaking a law. I might get pulled over, accused of being drunk or whatever. Yeah. But the minute you are seen passing somebody on the shoulder, <laughs> you're gonna either get a cop coming to get you a la jingle all the way <laughs> or you're going to have uh somebody be so upset at you that they're going to like chase you down nobody's going to get like like road rage angry at the guy kind of accidentally straddling oh yeah they will oh yeah they will i i feel like if somebody's like going around the right of me they're going to be so much more dangerous than an asshole i'm going to be more angry I, at them i think you should amend that statement to say you wouldn't I, get road rage angry i, I would <laughs> but you can pass them shoulder or otherwise <laughs> good point somebody's yeah, going point. around the shoulder you never know if they're going to clip you i i am the i am the people that get absolutely fucking heated pissed off when somebody is straddling the lines and i just and i think that's more of the stupid person as opposed to the asshole i would totally much rather be the asshole passing you on the shoulder why because that's way funnier it's way <laughs> fucking hilarious fucking troll i am doing that shit you have to romp on the gas uh, this okay it doesn't quite happen like this but like out in california it's weird you can be on the interstate and it still just be bumper to bumper you are stopped Mm -hmm. on the interstate but it is totally legal for people in motorcycles to go in between to go in between the cars and you know the exhaust goes out the back so you don't hear them until they're right there <laughs> and it scares the shit out of you every fucking time Fuck and yeah. it's i think it's intended to be that way because if i knew they were coming i'd open the door <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry i was gonna get out i, I didn't see you there i need to go take a piss too. yeah bumper to bumper how about you jeremy uh, yeah, I'm passing people on the right. <laughs> of, course, of course. Here's here's the thing with this situation with, doesn't seem shitty enough apparently. <laughs> when, when when it comes to the people who are like getting over and straddling the line, you usually expect to see them like on their phone yes. or doing something that you can't stand. And when you see that guy, <laughs> is like totally paying attention. paying attention, following all the safety rules, checking his rear, checking view. His rear view, and still, <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. In my head, I love the idea of this fucking guy. But in practice, I know I would hate this guy with all my fucking heart. Because that means he's really being just a fucking dick. What if, what if, like, as he's kind of swaying over the center line, he, whichever way he's swaying, he puts on that turn signal. So he's always got a yeah. signal on as he's... Yeah, click, yeah click, I'm not click, technically click, breaking the click, law. Click. He's just indecisive. Uh, yeah. Man. <laughs> I, you never you never second guess yourself. <laughs> Cut I, some slack. I, I really do. Like if I was watching a movie, I would put that character in. But in my everyday life, I don't want that guy to exist <laughs> anywhere. Uh, so you're passing people on the shoulder. I'm passing people on the shoulder. Every, yeah, shoulder every boys. bit of it. Oh God, that is one of my favorite <laughs> shitty situations in a long time. I think I've told the story once in uh, high school about. 
how I was driving on a two lane with wide shoulders and there was a like a camper that was going very very slow and it was just for whatever reason just bumper to bumper traffic coming from the other way there was no place to pass and this guy was just backing up traffic and i was an idiot kid in a very fast car and so once i found just a little gap i went over onto the other shoulder <laughs> and passed as the cars were coming in between us oh, oh my god. god and got around him and it wound up looking really cool but Boy, do, if I saw myself do that now, I would kick the shit out of myself for that. It was nice. the dumbest you fucking thing. You almost got us killed. Right. To get there 10 minutes earlier. Yes, that's right. <laughs> to get to some place that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, again, oh, thank you very much yeah. for another excellent episode. Thank you very much, uh, Eric Von Riker. Uh, Derek uh, ended up having some baseball stuff that he had to do. Um, our um, minor league baseball team here in Wichita made the postseason. They so, are in the postseason. Ooh. So, yeah, so that's where he is at, uh, unfortunately, this evening. But baseball season is winding down, so hopefully we will be able to see a lot more of Derek. Uh, but one month yeah one, one month one month you motherfuckers that's right if you ain't got your fucking tickets yet don't don't fuck around that's right <laughs> get your fucking tickets you have one month if you ain't there it's your own fucking fault that's <laughs> true that's true there are still uh, there's a few uh, tickets still left to see laughing on the sidelines live at Vorshay's Lounge on October the 22nd I believe it starts at 5 <laughs> is that what it says? Doors open at 4, show starts at 5. So, so, yeah. so it'll start around 6.30. <laughs> that's right. And, uh, if, yeah. if I know anything about how local comedy works. That's right. No, we're going to try and start it on time because we do. there is going to be a band coming in that evening right. at the bar. So we got to get in, get out. Uh, we'll still hang around that's right. afterwards for and, sure. And but, uh, Steve has improved the stage, if you didn't see that. Uh, it is now an actual stage that we are going to perform on. So that's awesome. Kinda, Seven, eight feet? Yep. I'd like to see that. That's it's, right. He likes to look down on people. I do. I like to hold court. That's right. Uh, but thank you guys very, very much. Thank you very much, uh, Eric Von Riker. Uh, we do appreciate you stepping me. in. Um, I hope to do it again as well in the future. And to all of you uh, listeners and fans out there, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you do by uh, liking, commenting, and sharing our TikToks. That uh, seems to be how this show grows. So thank you so much for doing that and continue to do that. And as we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope you get haunted by a ghost with Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like us, <laughs> tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, <laughs> Mama got the magic of Clorox. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>